Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Sailing. Captain, Raftal is here. Chapter 41. Near a reef not too far from Logue Town, the Mary was parked there, and there were also two small marine warships. Meanwhile, the sailors on the small warship are all blind-eyed at this time, and all are in a state of being hypnosis. Praise is good, the hypnosis technique is getting better and better. Luffy praised loudly without hesitation. These are trivial things, Captain Luffy. In this way, we can go to Logue Town to play in Logue Town as soon as the Marines' large army leaves. Zhang Gao's smile was a bit mean. Zhang Gao was a little proud at this time. Because of this battle, his hypnosis technique is necessary, and he played a vital role. At this time, Zhang Gao also probably understood that Usopp would be proud from time to time, because apart from Carl and Luffy, as long as Usopp can fly, Usopp can come in handy at many critical times. The same is true for Zango now. Without his hypnosis, everyone would have a direct conflict with the Marine Army. In this way, how can the captain's idea of having fun in Logue Town be fulfilled? Fortunately, although it was a temporary solution, the Marines believed it. Carl also heaved a sigh of relief. For Luffy's waywardness, it is enough to work hard. Mr. Carl, are you a genius? Luffy praised generously again. Okay. We will set off for Logue Town in an hour, and we can play for about an hour. Let's try to leave before the Marine surrounds us. An hour passed in the blink of an eye. Logue Town soon regained its vitality, and the vendors who were ordered by Marine to stay at home before started to do business again. At this moment, the Mary sailed into the port of Logue Town. The sailors guarding the port were shocked when they saw this, and hurriedly contacted Smaug with a phone bug. Smog who was smoking a cigarette board in the office, was also stunned when he received the news, and then he couldn't help but smile. He understood that Huo Shaoshan and Ghost Spider were tricked by the Straw Hat Boy, and they rushed to Reverse Mountain in a hurry, but they still found nothing, and even lost a lot of face for nothing. But the real reason Smoke was laughing was because he had a chance to catch the Straw Hat himself. Both the news and the headquarters are saying how powerful the Straw Hat is, but Smaug just doesn't believe it. With him in Logue Town, the Straw Hat won't be able to go to the Grand Line. Call all the sailors immediately, we will help the Straw Hat pirates catch them all. Also, contact the two Vice Admirals and tell them about it. Smog ordered, readying his Seastone weapon ten hands, and even rolling out his cool three-wheeled motorcycle. With him around, none of the Straw Hat pirates can escape. On the melee, Nami sent money to everyone, and after a few words of advice, they went into town. The Mary is guarded by Mumu and Ricky. Carl quickly found a shop that sold maps, and managed to buy two record pointers, along with a few blueprints and a few pairs of phone bugs. By the way, this phone bug is really expensive, it's like stealing money, you still have to buy it. By the way, he inquired about the location of the knife shop, and Carl went straight there. I didn't talk nonsense with the boss of Mediterranean Sea, and directly took the third generation Goosh, and at the same time bought Liang Kuidao Shazai at a high price. Although Zoro doesn't need these two knives now, they are still famous knives, and they can be taken as soon as they are available. Maybe they can be used again at some time, so it is safe to be prepared. Originally, the owner of Mediterranean Sea was not willing, but under the two-way attack of Carl's price increase and his wife, the owner of Mediterranean Sea could only sell it. Having done this, Carl went straight to the execution platform. At this time, Luffy had just come out of a bar, and because he heard some battle stories about Roger, the one piece told by the bar owner, his mood was agitated. Soon, he found the execution platform and jumped on it. It's so high. Is this the place where One Piece was executed? Luffy looked around excitedly. Just in time, Smoker arrived on a motorcycle. A large group of sailors will also surround them, pointing their guns at Luffy on the execution platform. Around, many civilians also recognized Luffy, and simply hid to watch the show quietly. Monkey. D. Luffy, the captain of the Straw Hat Pirates, has a bounty of 100 million berry. Smoker lit two cigars and said leisurely, Straw Hat Boy, you tricked the two vice admirals by playing tricks, so you think you can show up in Logue Town with a big swagger. Today I am here with Smoker, you and you none of the crew members can escape. Luffy picked his nostrils. Who are you? Everyone says my name is Smoker. Oh. Is there something wrong? Is there anything else? 
Don't you know your situation? Smoker only felt his veins bulge, he felt that the straw hat boy was playing with him, now you are surrounded by marines, if you have any last words, hurry up, or you won't have a chance later. Suddenly, Luffy saw all the sailors and civilians watching in the corner, so he felt the need to introduce himself. My name is Monkey. D. Luffy, the man who is going to be the One Piece. Gah. A loud announcement made everyone's jaw drop in shock. Smog looked at Luffy's laughing expression, as if seeing Roger who was executed 22 years ago, and fell into a trance for a while. But he quickly came back to his senses, you want to be the One Piece, I think you are daydreaming, let's talk about it if you can pass by me today. As he spoke, he commanded the sailors to attack. Luffy jumped down, and a rubber whip swept away a group of sailors, and a rubber machine gun sent a large wave of sailors into the sky, and did not dodge in the face of the hail of bullets. Smoke also knew that Luffy was a demon fruit power, so he pulled out ten hands to do it himself. White Vine. Smaug turns into a smoky vine and winds towards Luffy. Luffy was taken aback, and grabbed the white vine with the hand wrapped around Hockey, and threw Smoker aside. This is, Hockey. You have awakened Hockey at such a young age. Smog suddenly felt unbalanced, thinking of his majestic Logia demon fruit power, he is almost 30 years old, and he has not yet awakened Hockey, but such a teenage monkey has already walked ahead of him. How is this acceptable? White fist. Yan Yan punched out. But for Luffy, the speed of this white fist is impressive, and the attack range is wide, whether it is to avoid or attack is very easy. So no nonsense, he came to Smoker with a shave, and punched Smoker in the stomach. Who would have imagined that Smaug also had rich combat experience, and he immediately stabbed ten hands with the other hand. Luffy subconsciously grasped the top of the ten hands, and then he was taken aback for a very familiar feeling from the ten hands. Ha ha. You took the initiative to grab the sea stone, you are destined to confess here today, straw hat boy. Smaug laughed, and tried to wrap Luffy with the white vine again. Luffy tilted his head and kicked Smoker directly in the stomach, sending him flying instantly. Cough cough cough. This, how is this possible? You obviously touched the sea stone weapon, how could you still have the strength to attack me? Smoker suddenly doubted his life. He also suspected that his weapon had been dropped. Who told you that if you touch the sea stone, you will lose strength? I have practiced to the point where I can use hockey even wearing sea stone handcuffs. Luffy's words shocked Smoker even more. How can people believe such words, I am afraid that Marine Admiral did not say that. Smog still didn't believe it, so he reached out and touched the top of the ten hands, and then suddenly felt a sense of powerlessness, and his whole body collapsed on the ground. Ten hands is true, but it is also true that the straw hat boy is not affected. But, how is this possible? Isn't it common sense that people with abilities are restrained by sea stone? Why is common sense useless here? Are you an idiot? How dare you touch the sea stone yourself? Luffy looked at the idiot's expression. Smog was suddenly so angry that he couldn't breathe, and was choked by the cigar in his mouth, so he passed out. Can you imagine the scene of a smoking man being choked by smoke, just like a swimming champion being drowned by a small river? Luffy suddenly looked confused. Smog was so dizzy that he didn't know what to do. At this time, he seemed to have sensed something and looked up at the roof in a certain direction, where there was a powerful aura that made him afraid. Yo, Luffy, you've got it all done. Carl arrived slowly at this time, but soon Carl was also taken aback, and looked in that direction like Luffy. Luffy pressed the straw hat, and said in a calm voice, Mr. Carl, there is someone strong here, is it Marine Admiral? Carl saw a man in a cloak with his knowledge, and immediately smiled, no, it's an acquaintance. Acquaintance. Before Luffy could ask, Carl yelled, Dorag, aren't you going to show up? As soon as the words fell, the cloaked man appeared on a roof immediately. Carl and Luffy stepped on the moonwalk to the cloaked man, and what they saw was a rough hockey face with a special mark. Who is this uncle? Why is there a shoe print on his face? Luffy asked heartlessly. These words made both Drago and Carl couldn't help but twitch their mouths. Luffy, this is your father monkey. D. Dorag, a revolutionary. Carl introduced. Oh, so it's my dad. Luffy was taken aback as he spoke, and then reacted, E.H. E.H. This is my dad. Do I have a dad? 
Of course you have a father, otherwise you would have thought you were Monkey King who jumped out of a rock. But, this. Teacher Carl, who is Monkey King. Don't worry about who Sun Wukong is, anyway, this is your father, I confirmed it with the old man. When Luffy heard that he had confirmed it with Garp, he immediately believed it. It's just that although he has a free and easy personality, the stranger he met for the first time was his father, and he didn't know how to get along with him for a while. And not only Luffy, but also Dorag. When a strange father and son meet, what should they say? Carl thought for a while and asked, Uncle Dorag, is Sabo working at your place? That Sabo with blonde hair who likes to play with pipes. Drago was taken aback, do you know Sabo? Luffy was also taken aback, he told Carl about Sabo, but now Carl actually asked his father about Sabo, and he meant that Sabo is still alive. Luffy immediately pressed Drago's shoulder with excitement, and asked loudly, Uncle Shoe Print, oh no, Dad, is Sabo still alive? Is he still alive? Drago thought of the place where he rescued Sabo, and immediately realized that Luffy and Sabo knew each other and had a good relationship. Carl explained on the side, Luffy, Sabo, and Ace are sworn brothers. Drago was stunned, so he said affirmatively, Luffy, Sabo is still alive. He was seriously injured by the celestial dragon's shells. I happened to pass by to save him, but he seems to have lost some memory because of the serious injuries. Woo. That's great. Sabo's okay, he's really alive, that's great. Woohoo ah. Luffy was crying tears, but the corners of his mouth were curved, he was really happy. The joy of being lost and regained by a brother may be difficult for ordinary people to understand, but it does not prevent others from being moved. Tears welled up in Carl's eyes. But when Carl saw that Drago was at a loss, he was a little angry. Dorag. As a parent, what are you doing when you see your child crying? Drago trembled all over, then stretched out a hand tremblingly, patted Luffy's shoulder lightly, and said warmly, Luffy, don't worry, Sabo is alive and well with me. With me here, know something will happen to him, I believe you will meet again soon, and Sabo should have recovered his memory by then. Yeah, thank you, Dad. Luffy wiped away tears and smiled broadly. At this moment, Dorag was in an unusually happy mood. As a revolutionary who can only hide underground, he can't even meet his son casually, which makes him feel very guilty towards Luffy. As the saying goes, ideals and family affection can't be both, and so is he, who can only help Luffy secretly occasionally. He is naturally very happy to be able to talk happily with his son now. So he asked loudly, Luffy, tell dad, what is your dream? Luffy replied loudly, I want to be the free one piece. Then, for your dream, run to the sea. Carl watched from the side, the father and son's words sounded very idiosyncratic, but they looked unusually harmonious. Carl wanted to take a photo, but thought of Dorag's identity, and finally pressed his mind. At this time, the phone bug in his pocket rang, and Carl directly chose to hang up. This is an agreement with Liji, as soon as you see the marine fleet come back, you will immediately notify him with a phone bug. That said, now is the time to retreat. Luffy, the marine fleet is back, let's meet up at the port. Carl said immediately. Well, it's time to go, I've had enough fun today. Luffy smiled and pressed the straw hat. Dad, let's go first, and say hello to Sabo. Okay, take care all the way. Dorag said goodbye solemnly. Luffy jumped off the roof, but Carl stayed put. Carl pointed at Smoker's motorcycle and said, Luffy, look, this motorcycle is so cool, let's ride it away. Luffy was also pleasantly surprised. He rode on the motorcycle and fiddled, then accidentally stepped on the accelerator and rushed forward. But Luffy is not afraid at all, but very excited. Ha 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 ha. Teacher Carl, this motorcycle is so handsome. Luffy, you go first, I'll be right there. Carl yelled, watching Luffy disappear into the intersection. Drago asked, you have something to tell me, Carl. Carl directly took out the radar and the phone bug. This is the Devil Fruit radar. It can detect the location of the Devil Fruit within a certain range. It is convenient and practical. It needs to be charged at any time. There is also a phone bug. We can contact and exchange some information at any time, or you and Sabo can talk to Luffy anytime you want. Devil Fruit radar. Drago took the radar in surprise. This, is it reliable? Carl is full of confidence. Very reliable. 
The fruits of the three crew members on the Luffy ship were all found by radar. So, can you give me some more? There is no extra now, and it takes a lot of work to do this. Drago was a little regretful, but not disappointed, but full of confidence. The current revolutionary army is still in the development stage and needs a lot of powerful combat power. Devil fruit is a necessity to cultivate strong people in a short time. With this devil fruit radar, he feels that he can let go of his hands and feet in the future. And the phone bug, this Carl has a lot of thoughts, but it's just what he wants. In this case, we have a happy cooperation. Luffy is counting on you, and you can contact me anytime you need help. Well, happy cooperation. Carl said with a smile, but suddenly changed the topic. Uncle Dorag, I have one last question. Is Luffy's mother Roger's sister? Quote. Seeing the back of Dorag running away, Carl couldn't help curling his lips. The guy clearly doesn't want to talk about it. If I had known earlier, I wouldn't have asked that question. I should have asked if Luffy's mother was Kazaru's younger sister. Carl didn't delay any longer, first glanced at the fainted smoker, then jumped off the roof, took ten hands away, and headed towards the port. Not long after he left, Smoker opened his eyes, which were full of complex colors. Smoker didn't expect that Drago and the Straw Hat Boy turned out to be. Logue Town Port, Zoro, Sanji, Nami and Zango have all arrived. Usopp was flying high in the sky, staring nervously at the large marine fleet encircling Logue Town. There are actually five warships, which is really costly. Although Usopp has become stronger, but facing such a scene for the first time, he still couldn't help his legs trembling. Where are Mr. Luffy and Carl? Sanji asked. Everyone else shook their heads blankly, they didn't see Luffy and Carl. At this moment, a golden light flashed on the warship in the distance, and then a figure appeared in the midair of the port. Yellow striped suit, justice coat cloak, wretched uncle face, who else but Kazaru? See, Marine Admiral Kazaru. Usopp screamed in horror and almost fell from the air. Zoro and the others on the ground were also surprised, but Kazaru came first. Straw Hat Sniper Usopp, Pirate Hunter Roranoa. Zoro, Little Thief Cat Nami, Blackfoot Sanji, Hypnosis Master Zangao, and Lion King Ricky, oh oh oh, the crew is here except for the Captain Straw Hat Luffy. So, let's deal with you first, and then catch the Straw Hat Boy. Kazaru said, first looking at Usopp. Speed is power, have you ever been kicked by the speed of light? As soon as the classic mantra came out, it appeared directly above Usopp's head in the next second, and kicked Usopp to the ground with one kick, directly smashing through a building. Usopp. Zoro and the others shouted anxiously, but they didn't dare to move casually. Because, Kazaru is here. Swish. The golden light flashed, and a tall figure appeared beside Zoro, sending Zoro into the wall with one kick. Green algae head. Sanji shrank his pupils and immediately pushed Nami to Zango. Then a set of combined kicking skills was presented, but when the kick was on Kazaru, the kick was empty, is it really a Logia ability? Without hockey, I really can't deal with it. Amazing kicking skills, pinch the coat. Kazaru said lazily, a laser shot out from his fingertips, piercing directly through Sanji's shoulder. The laser also exploded on the sea behind Sanji, creating huge waves. Sanji. Nami and Zengo couldn't calm down. Marine Admiral is really too strong, super fast, and can also emit lasers. Their strength is perverted to ultimate, which is not something they can deal with at all. Luffy, Mr. Carl, come quickly. Perhaps hearing the call, Luffy's high-pitched cry suddenly sounded, accompanied by a huge roar. Kazaru also stopped curiously, and looked in the direction of the sound source. I saw Luffy driving a cool motorcycle on a rampage. He obviously couldn't drive it at all, but he was very excited to drive it. And it seemed that he didn't even know how to turn, and directly hit a house. Fortunately, Luffy jumped up early, which avoided the impact. Huh. It's dangerous, it's dangerous. After speaking, he raised his head and saw Nami and Zangao with pleasant expressions on their faces, while Sanji was holding his bleeding shoulder with a painful expression on his face. Immediately afterwards, Zoro and Usopp came out of the house in a panic. Luffy understood immediately. He looked at the uncle in the yellow suit and asked, Uncle, this is Marine Admiral Kazaru, and his name is Palooza Lulu. 
Kazaru was speechless, and said emphatically, it's Pelusalino. Oh, Pelusalulu. I'm Luffy, the man who is going to be the One Piece. Did you attack my partner just now? It's not Palooza Lulu, it's Palooza. Well, forget it, you can be called Kazaru. Your partner was beaten by this old man. It's only natural for Marine to fight pirates. I see. Marine Admiral. Luffy pressed the straw hat and grinned big, then let me try the Marine Admiral before entering the Grand Line. Everyone in the straw hats immediately smiled when they heard this. Look, this is their captain. Before entering the Grand Line, Try Marine Admirals Jinliang, and ask any newcomer who can say such hockey words. Oh, oh, the newcomer is really a coat. Kazaru still looked foolish. Then, have you ever been kicked by the speed of light? As soon as the words fell, the man had already appeared behind Luffy, kicking Luffy's head with his long legs. Luffy took a horse stance, wrapped around armament hockey's right hand and backed up, and immediately felt a huge force hitting him, and then he was kicked sideways dozens of meters, plowing a ditch on the ground. Huh. It's so dangerous. Uncle, what are you doing, you don't even say hello. Luffy looked at the smoldering arm, and although he complained, there was an excited smile on his face. Oh. It can block the old man's attack, pinch the coat. Kazaru was relaxed, and appeared on top of Luffy's head again. Second gear. Luffy simply turned on the second gear of the smoke, and the knowledgeable color caught Kazaru's movement, quickly took two steps back to avoid Kazaru's attack, and hit Kazaru's stomach with a jet pistol. However, it was empty. Kazaru's stomach turned into specks of light, pierced by Luffy's rubber fist. Why didn't it work? I obviously used hockey. Luffy couldn't believe it, so he just continued to attack, rubber rubber jet machine gun. Bang bang bang. The rubber machine gun is too fast to be seen, and it manages to hit Kazaru, but Kazaru's body is completely light particles, and it can't reach it at all. In a flash of light, a foot appeared from the back of Luffy's head. With a bang, Luffy was kicked flying out. Fortunately, Luffy turned somersault in midair and landed on the ground out of breath. I see, it is indeed Marine Admiral who predicted my prediction and became elementalized before I attacked. Although only a few tricks have been passed, many problems can already be seen. That is Kazaru is not only faster than Luffy, but observation hockey is better than Luffy. Of course, Kazaru has been doing Admiral for many years, if he is easily overtaken by a fledgling kid, it would be a waste of time. However, although Luffy is slightly weaker, it is not so easy for Kazaru to defeat Luffy. Zoro, Sanji and others watching the battle stared directly. Hey! Chloral ahead, did you see clearly just now? Sanji's hands trembling as he lit his cigarette. It's too fast, I can't see clearly at all, even if I turn on the knowledge. Zoro's face became even uglier. The more masters he meets, the more Zoro feels weak and weak, and the more he hates himself for growing too slowly. But there is no way, it really takes time to grow. If we met Hawkeye and Golden Lion before, let everyone know what power is, and now we meet Kazaru, let everyone know what speed is. Like Carl said, Kazaru's speed can't even keep up with Whitebeard, and Luffy is obviously not enough now. However, everyone has faith in Luffy. And, Carl should be coming soon. Give it up Straw Hat Crew. Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral Huo Shaoshan will send you into Impel Down. The bearded man with a cigar in his mouth jumped down on the moonwalk, and single-handedly attacked Sanji who was closest to him. Seeing this, Zoro was about to make a move, but suddenly his hair stood on end, and Sakura Ten and Dead Tree went up to fight at the same time. When, two knives chopped on Sakura Ten and Deadwood. It's just that the person who shot was not two knives, but eight knives. The ghost spider descended from the sky, controlled six knives in its hair and slashed at Zoro's body, immediately cutting out a large amount of blood. Zoro just snorted and dodged back quickly. Green algae head. Sanji was a little startled, but Huo Shaoshan seized the opportunity, kicked him in the stomach, and was kicked far away in an instant. Both Zoro and Sanji stood up. They looked miserable, but they still stood up straight. Zoro. Sanji. Nami, Usopp and Zango are all very anxious. Sanji lit his cigarette again, and said in a low voice, Nami-san, please guard the ship with Django Usopp and Liji, and don't let the Mary be sunk by Marine's shells. These two vice-admirals, give them to me and Chloral ahead processing. 
Zoro slowly pulled out the Wadaichi character and bit it in his mouth, posing in the three sword style posture without saying a word. Seeing this, the three of Nami didn't have much to say. Seeing that the marine fleet was getting closer, they rushed towards the Mary. However, these two vice admirals are also bold and skilled. The warship is still far away from the port, so they dared to step on the moonwalk to come ahead of time. Maybe it was out of anger, the anger of being tricked by the straw hat pirates. Just because the two of you want to deal with our two vice admirals. The ghost spider obviously looked down on Zoro and Sanji, Huo Shaoshan vice admiral, lead these two to me, and you go catch the others. Huo Shaoshan didn't object at all, and chased after Nami and the others. Sanji and Zoro wanted to stop them, but were stopped by the eight knives wielded by the ghost spider. After a fight, Zoro and Sanji were almost covered in blood, but they couldn't break through the ghost spider's defense. As expected of naval headquarters vice admiral, the strength is really strong. Sanji said in a low voice. Hey, perverted cook. Cooperate with me, I will use this pressure to break through myself. Zoro seemed to be saying insignificant words against the blood all over his body. Don't die. Oh, I will not die before I fulfill my dream. Saying that, the two rushed towards the ghost spider together. Zoro opened the way with 72 moves, but was easily intercepted by the ghost spider with a few knives, and Sanji took the opportunity to send a set of kicking skills. The ghost spider didn't care, and the eight knives danced vigorously, not only easily blocked the attacks of the two, but also continuously created wounds on the two of them. As time passed, the ghost spider couldn't help becoming irritable. I see, your vitality seems to be very tenacious. But, that's it. As the ghost spider said, the murderous aura on his body became stronger and stronger. On the melee, the three of Nami had just boarded the ship when there was Huo Shaoshan chasing after them. Zhang Gao directly threw a pair of circular saws, but Huo Shaoshan easily avoided it. However, Zhang Gao's purpose was not to hurt people, but to hypnosis. Secret Technique Hypnosis Double Ring Kill when the circular saw flew back into Zhang Gao's hand again, Huo Shaoshan was in a trance. Good job. Zango. Nami and Usopp rejoiced. Ha ha. That's it. Who am I? I'm the number one reminder of the Straw Hat Pirates. Nani. Zhang Gao couldn't help but swear before he finished speaking, only to see Huo Shaoshan shaking his head and regaining consciousness. At this time, Zhang Gao finally understood Carl's good intentions deeply. When the hypnosis technique was useless to the enemy, he really couldn't escape. Huo Shaoshan scratched his head and looked at Zhang Gao in surprise, yes. Even I can hypnosis. Zhang Gao felt embarrassed immediately, he he he, it's nothing. Is now the time to be shy. Nami and Usopp couldn't help complaining loudly, but there were other ways, Huo Shaoshan was blocking the port, and there was a marine fleet on the sea, it was really a dilemma. If I knew I would never come to Logue Town. Teacher Carl, where are you? No way, Usopp chose to take the initiative to stand up. Seriously, I didn't expect that I would face off against Vice Admiral so early. You guys are too dependent on me, Captain Usopp. At this time, Carl was also rushing towards the port. But his speed is not fast, and he doesn't seem to be in a hurry at all. Don't let you face your fear, you will never know how powerful the enemy is. I will slow down a little bit, and let you learn enough lessons, and you will actively train in the future. As for whether you will be killed, he he, my sense of knowledge is always on. Carl didn't care about cheating his partner. If he has to rush over every time a crisis arises, then everyone will not be able to grow. So, be ruthless when necessary. The same goes for Luffy, let Admiral have a good time, and Luffy will know that he has to improve. Compared with the teacher's teaching, it is still necessary to experience actual combat to grow faster, as is the case with the straw hats in the original book. But now with Carl, Carl can only create a situation where he can't get to the scene because of procrastination, so that his partners can accept the baptism of actual combat. Huh. This girl is, Tashigi. Carl saw a girl in glasses with a floral shirt and short black hair punching the walls of the residence. There seemed to be tears in her eyes and she was muttering words. Roranoa. Zoro. Why? Why is the famous knife in the hands of such a person? It's because I'm a woman that I can't do anything hard. You clearly look down on me, you hateful pirate hunter.
Carl heard clearly, it seems that this faked Kuina still met Zoro, and the resentment towards Zoro is still so deep. It is true that Kuina's death is very regrettable, but if it is the CP of Zoro and Tashigi, it can still be smashed. Then, Carl thought of something funny. If Tashigi is brought to the port and Tashigi sees Zoro's miserable appearance, I don't know what expression Tashigi will have. And now it's in Logue Town, isn't it interesting that Smoker and Tashigi are out of the scene so soon? Thinking of this, Carl stepped forward. Hello, little Marine, are you crying? Carl pretended to be a kind passerby. Oh sorry, I didn't cry, I just. Tashigi wiped the corners of his eyes, and was about to explain something, when he suddenly saw the three knives on Carl's waist, and jumped up with a cry of surprise, his eyes were all in front of Carl's belly. This dull girl. This is embarrassing. Carl quickly took two steps back, putting distance between himself and Tashigi. Ah, I'm sorry, I was so excited. Well, sir, can I see the knife on your waist? Tashigi said while apologizing. Oh, it's okay to see. Carl just stood there for her to see. Tashigi was very excited. He carefully looked at the handle of the knife, and then took out a booklet and flipped through it. The whole person became excited. This is, good quick sword obsidian. This is third generation Onodaru. There is still a good knife to go. So many famous swords. Mister, are you a three swordsman? Oh, no, I'm not saying that sir is the same as that green-haired pirate three swordsman, but I think it's incredible that sir has so many famous swords. Looking into Tashigi's bright eyes, Carl couldn't even introduce himself. Tashigi's dream is to collect all the famous knives, but it's a pity that he doesn't have the ability to match them. This is also to blame for Smog, who doesn't know how to teach people and still carries it all day. He sent Tashigi to Haikon in Haina's hands better than him. Just like this, he is arrogant all day long, has no real ability, and causes a lot of trouble. Tashigi was definitely dragged down by Smoker. Carl said softly, do you like famous knives? Tashigi said decisively, yes. My dream is to collect famous knives and grab all the famous knives from the bad guys. Hee hee, you must have enough strength. Otherwise, you failed to snatch the villain's knife, but your own knife got in instead. I, I know it too, but I'm still too weak. Tashigi is very depressed, maybe she didn't feel it before, but after fighting with the green-haired Zoro, she realized that her strength is not enough to snatch the swords of the bad guys, she can't even hold her own sword. It was the first time she felt that strength was so important. Of course, the three-sword style of the green-haired pirate you mentioned is not too strong, and it is being ravaged by ghost spiders at the port. Carl said again. Ghost spider vice admiral. The naval headquarters fleet is back. Tashigi was surprised. Kazaru admiral is here too, do you want to see it? Go. Must go. After successfully catching Tashigi, the two headed towards the port. By the way, I don't know the name of the gentleman. Oh, my name is Carl. My name is Tashigi, we can talk about famous swords in the future. The port is not far away, and Carl and Tashigi are soon there. Luffy, who was fighting hard with Kazaru, sensed Carl's arrival instantly, and a bright smile opened on the corner of his mouth, almost dazzled Kazaru's eyes. Oh oh oh, I can still smile now. Let this smile stay in Logue Town forever. Eight foot Chong Guyu. Whoosh. Boom boom boom. Countless light particles are constantly lacing towards Luffy. Luffy is full of knowledge and dodges the attack with difficulty. But Luffy felt relieved a lot, because Carl came, he didn't have to worry about the safety of his friends, and he could fight Kazaru with all his strength. Carl was in complete control of the situation on set. Zoro and Sanji teamed up to fight against the ghost spider, not to mention how miserable it was at this time, bloody is not enough to describe them. Then there is Usopp, who has been flying in the air and attacking with a giant slingshot, but that attack is nothing to Huo Shaoshan. Huo Shaoshan often rushes into the air to pull Usopp down and rubs against the ground. If Usopp hadn't eaten the phantom beast fruit, he would have rolled his eyes and passed out. Nami, Zango and Liji still struggled a lot, the marine fleet attacked too violently, the three of them were in a hurry, and Liji was even shot. What a terrible battle. Tashigi's face turned pale, Roronoa. Zoro, whom I can't match, is so miserable under the hands of Vice Admiral. However, when she spoke, Carl was no longer by her side. I saw Carl dodging in front of Usopp, 
and Obsidian pulled out a knife, and the black electric light directly slashed at Huo Shaoshan, and immediately chopped Huo Shaoshan into the air. Teacher Carl. Everyone was pleasantly surprised, and at the same time their confidence was restored. Carl smiled and said, how about you guys, have you felt the horror of the marine? This is a special course, and it will let you understand the horror of the Grand Line. As soon as these words came out, everyone understood. Co-author Carl always knew that their situation was not good, but deliberately did not come here, just to let them feel how powerful Marine's advanced combat power is. This guy is simply a devil. Usopp, you and Nami are protecting the Mary together, this vice admiral is handed over to me. Carl stood opposite the burning mountain. Usopp didn't say anything, he was surprised that he could hold off a vice admiral's attack for so long. But in fact, thanks to being able to fly, if it were on the ground, it would have been beaten to the head by the burning mountain. Oh, is there another member of the Straw Hats? And he still has such fighting power. Huo Shaoshan was very surprised. He felt his paralyzed body, the knife just now not only cut him back so simply, but also made him numb with the shock of lightning. If it wasn't for his physical strength, he probably would have been lying down long ago. Straw Hat Pirates, Carl, please give me your advice. Carl introduced casually, and then rushed forward, and Obsidian slashed forward. Huo Shaoshan didn't dare to underestimate Carl, and fought Carl with more than a dozen tricks back and forth in an instant. Immediately, Huo Shaoshan was startled. He thought he was good at swordsmanship, but he didn't expect to have the upper hand in this young man's hands. Where did this young man come from? Carl had time to look over to Zoro and Sanji, who were so miserable. Hey. Zoro, Sanji, are you okay? If not, just lie down, I'll take care of it. Carl shouted with a smile. Man, how can you say no? The two said in unison, still holding their breath and being tough with the ghost spider. Tashigi was in a daze at this point. She didn't expect that the person she had been chatting with so kindly before was a pirate, and he was with Roronoa. So, this Carl cheated on her. After realizing it, Tashigi was extremely angry. Then she thought that so many knives fell into the hands of these bad guys, but she was unable to snatch them back. She fell into self-doubt for a while, and tears shed unconsciously. Zoro naturally also saw Tashigi, looked up and gave Carl a hard look. Carl didn't pay attention, he was just concentrating on exchanging sword skills with Huo Shaoshan. Anyway, don't worry now, let everyone hone and hone, otherwise half-baked strength is not enough to sweep the grand line. Naturally, Kazaru also saw the situation in the audience, and couldn't help raising his eyebrows for a moment. Put the coat on, straw hat pirates. I calculated Huo Shaoshan and Ghost Spider before, but I didn't expect that there was a powerful person hiding without a reward. I really don't want to let you into the grand line anymore. Hehe. <laughs> My partner is strong, Kazaru. Luffy showed her white teeth, since Mr. Carl is here, I can fight you with all my strength. I said that I would try Admiral's weight. How can I justify it without all my strength? Kazaru, you are going to take it next. Stop, my attack. Saying that, Luffy took a deep breath, bit the left arm wrapped around hockey and blew hard. Muscle balloon. Fourth gear. Elastic man. Luffy's body became muscular and plump as if covered in crimson hockey, with a big face full of Fudo Myoko's anger. Dwang. 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 Luffy kept bouncing on the ground, unable to stand still, making Kazaru wonder how Luffy would attack for a while. In the next second, Luffy suddenly jumped forward, and his feet stepped on the air quickly, like a propeller, which made Luffy achieve a high-speed impact. Rubber rubber guns. The huge red fist contracted extremely, and then slammed out. Kazaru was stunned for a moment, before he had time to elementalize, he had to receive a punch with both arms, and then was sent flying by Luffy's punch, collapsing five buildings along the way. Swish. With a flash of golden light, Kazaru reappeared. It's just that he was a little embarrassed, his suit was dirty, and there was blood at the corner of his mouth. Now, Huo Shaoshan, Ghost Spider, Tashigi and those marines who could see were all shocked. It was the first time they saw Kazaru Admiral being beaten up by a newcomer until he vomited blood. Is this straw hat Luffy really that strong? Oh, oh, what a mistake, I didn't expect you to have such a trick. Kazaru's tone was helpless. This job is really not done by humans. If you hit the straw hat hard, 
you may be worried by garp, but if you hit it lightly, you will be suspected by Sengoku of fishing. It's all right now, he was punched directly by the opponent, and he still dare not report work-related injuries to Sengoku. At that time, Sengoku will say, you, an old brand admiral, is still a speed type, and you were injured by a 17-year-old boy, and you even reported a work-related injury. Isn't that embarrassing enough? Kazaru felt bitter and knew that he shouldn't have taken this job. Carl probably understood Kazaru's psychology in the audience. He Kazaru is a king of fishing. After the summit war, he didn't even get his clothes stolen. Now he took such a disgusting job, not to mention how painful he was. Next, for the sake of Marine's face, Kazaru had to choose to play hard, even if he went back and was pulled out by Garp to compete. So Carl subconsciously shouted, Luffy be careful, Kazaru has to be serious. Luffy was taken aback, as if he didn't quite understand, could it be that Kazaru just now has been fishing? Kazaru glanced at Carl in surprise, but he didn't take it seriously, and directly reflected himself in front of Luffy with the eight-foot mirror, and kicked Luffy's waist fiercely at the speed of light. Luffy was so startled that he had no time to dodge. But Kazaru found that his foot was like kicking on rubber. Huh. It's hockey, but it's still rubber. What's going on? Kazaru couldn't understand for a while. Rubber rubber, big snake cannon. Luffy's fist retracted into his body, and then shot out quickly, Kazaru dodged at the speed of light, but Luffy's fist kept extending and continued to pursue. After a few dodges, Kazaru found it troublesome, so he simply let his fist hit him, and he became elementalized in advance. No, this is not enough. Luffy felt the pressure because he couldn't hit Kazaru at all. Kazaru is faster than him, and can predict his predictions. If he wants to have a chance of winning, he must improve his knowledge. Let me give you a few directions to think about. Observation hockey can predict the future for a second or two to a certain extent. Carl's voice sounded in Luffy's mind. Luffy started to think about it. Don't look at him having a headache when thinking about things on weekdays, but he is also very focused when thinking about things in battle. It's just that Kazaru won't give him too much time to keep attacking at the speed of light. Seeing this, Luffy simply chose to defend, while trying to predict Kazaru's movements faster. After a few minutes, Luffy was brutally abused. Kazaru naturally also saw Luffy's purpose, and couldn't help rolling his eyes for a while. He even practiced with Admiral, and Kazaru has no cards. But Kazaru can't help it, he also immune to death Luffy for a short time. Look at Zoro and Sanji again. The pressure the two are facing is not less than Luffy, even more dangerous, but now they are not allowed to back down. Bearing the pain all over his body, Zoro desperately swung the three knives, dealing with the ghost spider's eight knives. At this time, I should thank the devil training in the weekdays. If I were Zoro before, I would probably lie down a long time ago, but now I still have the energy to fight with the ghost spider, and my endurance is full. The ghost spider was also annoyed, it was a shame that all three of his eight knives were blocked by three of them. The point is that Roronoa. Zoro is too tough. Sometimes he can't catch the knife, and his body will be hit by the knife, but he just doesn't fall down, and he doesn't even cry out in pain. He doesn't look like a person. And the constant harassment of Blackfoot Sanji, who is also a powerful character. A set of combined kicking skills is extremely complicated, and the key is to have huge strength, so that the ghost spider has to be distracted to deal with it. At this time, Sanji was also grateful for Carl's care on weekdays. Although he did not train for a long time, he quickly adapted to the practice of kicking the steel plate with an overweight ankle ring. Now I don't wear ankle rings, so it's very easy to get out of my feet, and every foot is strong and powerful. And the ghost spider is not a steel plate, so it would be very uncomfortable to be kicked. The ghost spider was annoyed by these two. You guys are so annoying. Can't you lie down quickly? Since you are looking for death, I will fulfill you. The ghost spider let out a loud roar, and the eight knives swung faster and more powerfully, making Zoro almost breathless. Seeing this, Sanji rushed to save the scene, but the ghost spider was waiting for him, and with a shave, he dodged in front of Sanji, and with a lift of his foot, he used a tempest kick to chop Sanji into the air. Romantic cook. Zoro yelled a little listlessly. You still have the heart to care about other people, now it's your turn. 
The ghost spider appeared in front of Zoro at some point, and chopped off Zoro's head with eight knives. Carl, who was fishing, narrowed his eyes and was about to rescue someone. Huo Shaoshan naturally knew what Carl was thinking, and immediately began to intercept with all his strength, but Carl directly swept Huo Shaoshan away with a single blow. Only then did Huo Shaoshan realize that Carl had been teasing him. Quasi-Admiral. No, I'm afraid he has the strength of Admiral. Huo Shaoshan was shocked. The Straw Hats were fledgling and didn't even enter the Grand Line, but now they have two Admiral-level combat powers, which is simply shocking. If this allows them to enter the new world, I'm afraid there will be a five emperors. Carl didn't care what Huo Shaoshan thought, and was about to rush over to save people, but he was taken aback suddenly when he saw Zoro's state. At this time, Zoro was in a strange state, as if he had realized something in the face of death, and he was even dying. Death, to me, is not a fear, but a help. Zoro's voice was deep and powerful, and the whole person seemed to have turned into three people. Under the dead air, Zoro exuded a breathtaking aura, which made the ghost spider tremble with fear. And if I'm not mistaken, those knives still seem to have a faint hockey wrapped around them. Ghost Chi. Nine Swords Style. Ashura. Swish. The nine knives swept forward, and the strong death energy collided with the ghost spider's knives. Hearing a thumping sound, the six knives controlled by the ghost spider's hair were all broken, and the ghost spider's hair was also horrible, only the two good knives in his hand were fine. Not to mention how ugly the ghost spider's face is. After working in Vice Admiral for so many years, he has hunted countless pirates, and the rookie pirates are not even his single enemy. However, now that a little swordsman from East Blue has broken the eight knife style, and even messed up his hairstyle, won't it be laughed out of his teeth by others? No wonder Hawkeye is optimistic about this little guy, it seems that his aptitude is really extraordinary. Being able to comprehend new swordsmanship under the crisis of death, and even inspired armament hockey, are the newcomers so scary now. But it doesn't matter, the current Roranoa. Zoro has completely lost his power. After one move, the ghost energy has completely dissipated. Even an ordinary person can kill him with a single strike. Although it's a pity that such a genius died, but who made him a pirate? You are great, Roranoa, but that's all for you today. Holding the remaining two knives, the ghost spider slashed at Zoro's head again. Carl wanted to rescue again, but Huo Shaoshan rushed forward desperately, which annoyed Carl very much. However, Carl sensed something with his knowledge, and immediately stopped thinking about saving people. I saw Sanji, who was chopped off before, stomp the ground quickly, and disappeared in a flash. When it reappeared, it was already beside the ghost spider. The black shoes turned into a red-hot iron body at some point, and it kicked directly at the ghost spider's armpit. The ghost spider has no choice but to give up Zoro and return the knife to deal with Sanji. But Sanji suddenly withdrew his feet again, turned over and leapt into the air, slammed his foot on the air, and catapulted towards the ghost spider. Shaving and moonwalk. They actually realized it during the battle. The ghost spider's face was full of disbelief. Devil wind foot. It was this dazed one, Sanji's red-hot tin shoes had already reached the ghost spider's face, and a crazily output of high-speed kicking skills kicked the ghost spider's face out of shape in a few seconds. The last kick kicked the ghost spider away, and Sanji was also a little collapsed when he landed. However, he still stubbornly stood up straight, lighting his cigarette with trembling hands. Green algae head, are you still alive? Zoro was extremely depressed, but he still held the knife tightly, and responded stiffly, if you die, I won't die. Carl, who was dealing with the burning mountain, suddenly enlarged his smile. These two guys are really surprising. They actually comprehended so many things in the battle, and it didn't take me so long to be late. This is also thanks to the ghost spider. If it weren't for his help, these two people don't know when they can really grow up. Zoro, Sanji, congratulations, remember to thank teacher ghost spider. Carl smiled mischievously. Oh, indeed, thanks to teacher ghost spider. Zoro and Sanji looked serious, but what the three of them said made the ghost spider almost vomit blood when it just got up. He co-authored Ghost Spider as a sparring partner just now. Huo Shaoshan also looked inexplicable. Not to mention, the Ghost Spider really seemed to be a training partner for the two of them. Although the Ghost Spider tortured the two of them miserably, they did make progress, and it was a huge progress. 
Huo Shaoshan dare to say that the strength of these two people is enough to run rampant in the first half of the Grand Line. Pirates, you play with me. But no matter how much progress you have made, I killed you today, and your progress just now is a joke. The ghost spider roared angrily. Carl laughed and said, that's not okay, teacher ghost spider. These two are my important students, so I can't let you hurt their lives. Only then did the ghost spider pay attention to Carl. He didn't care about Carl's arrival before, because he believed in the ability to burn mountains. But looking at it now, the clothes on Carl's body are not even dusty, but Huo Shaoshan is a bit miserable, and it's obvious which one is stronger and which is weaker. In other words, this guy is much stronger than Huo Shaoshan. The ghost spider looked at Huo Shaoshan, and Huo Shaoshan nodded desperately, Vice Admiral, Ghost Spider, don't underestimate this person, at least he has quasi-admiral strength. The words of Huo Shaoshan shocked the ghost spider. The ghost spider knows Huo Shaoshan's personality, so it is impossible to lie about such a thing, and seeing Huo Shaoshan's distressed appearance, he should know that this guy is really powerful. It's incredible that there is such a character in the Straw Hat Pirates. Carl took advantage of the opportunity of the chat between the two vice admirals to control the great sword on the door panel to Zoro and Sanji, sit on the sword, and I will send you to the Mary. You have completed your growth, and I will leave it to me. Zoro and Sanji did not try to be brave, and directly collapsed on the giant sword on the door. With a thought, Carl quickly sent the two to the boat steadily. Seeing this, Nami quickly freed up his hands to take care of the two. At this time, the Mary is also in a bit of danger. The marine fleet's firepower is fierce, and it is very difficult for Nami, Zango, Usopp, and Lee Kei to deal with it alone. Moreover, a bird-type demon fruit power flew out of marine, which seemed to be a rear admiral, fighting Usopp in the air. Usopp was in a hurry while dealing with the enemy and helping the Mary, but after a while, Usopp seemed to get used to the situation and became more comfortable. Moreover, relying on the advantage of the Phantom Beast Fruit, he fought back and forth with the opponent's bird-type rear admiral. Now Usopp is already a brave sea warrior. And Sanji and Zoro are not burdensome when they are on board, because they recover quickly and are back on their feet after a while. Compared with dealing with ghost spiders, it is obviously easier to fight against shells. Here, Carl faced two vice admirals alone. Huo Shaoshan and Ghost Spider didn't act hastily, but confronted Carl for a long time, seeming to be recovering their strength and restraining Carl. Perhaps because of Carl's strength, he was worried that Carl would go to help Luffy in the straw hat, which would make it more difficult for Kazaru to capture Luffy. Carl didn't do anything when he saw this, but secretly paid attention to the situation on Luffy's side. At this time, Luffy consumes a lot. Although the fourth gear is powerful, it can last for a short time. After battling Kazaru for a while, Luffy lifted four gears and was then unilaterally beaten by Kazaru. But Luffy's idea is obvious, using Kazaru's pressure to improve his observation hockey. It's impossible to figure it out that quickly, though, so Luffy gets beaten badly. If it wasn't for the fight, he would have died long ago. No, it's still not good. It shouldn't be like this. Luffy panted heavily, thinking that the method just now was wrong, and then continued to predict Kazaru's movements. Luffy can feel that every time Kazaru's powerful move comes out, he can accurately predict it. He understood that this was the result of the crisis stimulating the spirit, and it was the same when Carl taught Zoro before. It is a good way to activate the instinct of the human body. Luffy didn't care how badly he was injured, and only defended and evaded according to his own predictions. Now it can be described as horrible. But Luffy still stubbornly insisted on his own ideas, he chose to believe in himself. After an unknown amount of time, Luffy became confused. At this moment, Luffy felt a laser beam shooting towards his chest, and a strong sense of crisis came to his heart. Subconsciously, Luffy turned to the side, and when he looked up, he suddenly found that the laser at Kazaru's fingertips was just about to emit. For a moment, Luffy seemed to understand something. Prediction. He did it. Kazaru raised his eyebrows when he saw that his laser was missing. He felt that the straw hat boy seemed different. After feeling it once, Luffy went on much smoother. Facing Kazaru's overwhelming attack, he was able to predict and avoid 7 out of 10 moves. He really did what Carl said about seeing the future for a second. 
but Luffy was dissatisfied and began to attack actively. He directly turned on the second gear mode, kept dodging Kazaru's attacks, and started a counterattack based on his prediction. Kazaru also felt a little horrified at this time, he found that the straw hat Luffy seemed to keep up with his rhythm, and counter-predicted his prediction. Now not only did he start to dodge his attacks smoothly, but the counterattack also became fierce. Is this guy a monster? As expected of Garp San's grandson, what a coat. Kazaru is convinced, but the task that should be done is still to be done. As a result, Kazaru sped up the speed again, using light speed kicks, 8-foot mirrors, 8-foot Chongguyu, and even used the lightsaber. But at this time, Luffy seemed to be on the hook, and his knowledge and knowledge became more and more proficient, and he even had a 50-50 fight with Kazaru, which directly stunned Ghost Spider and Huo Shaoshan. This, how is this possible? Huo Shaoshan dropped all his cigars. I grew up in the battle. Straw Hat crew are all monsters, we must not let them enter the Grand Line, otherwise my Marine will lose face. The Ghost Spider was shocked and angry. Carl smiled. At this time, you should worry about yourself. Said, directly started to work. During the mind control, the black door panel giant sword slammed into Huo Shaoshan. Huo Shaoshan was startled, and quickly caught it with a knife, but was directly knocked into the air by a huge force. Carl took the opportunity to dodge in front of the ghost spider, and Obsidian pressed forward. The ghost spider lost six knives and was able to do two knives, but it was obviously not powerful enough. It was actually planted into the ground by Carl with one knife, leaving only one head and two knives sticking out of the ground. It's despicable to sneak attack. Ghost Spider yelled. Hey, Vice Admiral is not easy to deal with, and I don't want to waste time, so I can only attack. Carl didn't blush at all, and explained with a smile. Huo Shaoshan and Ghost Spider were so angry that they wanted to hack him to death. Carl suddenly shouted. Luffy, are you alright, we should go. Luffy forced Kazaru back with one move, and responded with a straw hat, Mr. Carl, I did it. Ha ha ha, as expected of Luffy, it's a good fight with Marine Admiral this time. He he, thanks to Uncle Kazaru. I said that before entering the Grand Line, I should try the Marine Admiral's weight. I have done this, so I should run for my life. After all, Marine has too many warships. Ha 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 ha. Speaking, Luffy ignored Kazaru's bewildered expression, turned around and ran towards the Mary. Kazaru is really speechless. He obviously came to catch Luffy, but unexpectedly he was thanked by Luffy. It seems that Garp San also has this kind of personality, and the monkey family is really helpless. However, if Luffy wanted to run, he, Kazaru, would not agree. Straw Hat Boy, stay here, Impel Down is more suitable for you. Kazaru turned into a streamer and chased after him. No. I'm going to the Grand Line for an adventure, and I want to become One Piece. Grandpa can't stop me today, I said it. Luffy made a face at Kazaru. Kazaru wanted to pursue him, but suddenly a long black knife came slashing from the oblique ground. No way, Kazaru could only stop, raised his eyebrows and looked at the black-haired young man in front of him. I remember that his name was Carl, and he was also called a teacher by all the members of the Straw Hats. Just now, he abused the two headquarters vice admiral. Why did such a character appear on the Straw Hats? Did you go blind when offering rewards before, and missed such a strong guy? Carl smiled and said, Kazaru Admiral, I can't let you interfere with our captain, you can't pass here. Kazaru put away his sloppy expression, and rarely said seriously, put your coat on, young people nowadays. So, this little brother named Carl, have you been shot by the speed of light? Has Kazaru Admiral been struck by lightning? It is said that the speed of lightning and light are the same. Carl interrupted Kazaru's words, Black Yao slashed to the side, collided with Kazaru's light speed kick in an instant, and the air suddenly exploded. At the point of contact between the knife and the foot, purple black lightning burst out continuously, generating terrifying shock waves outward. The ground of the port is cracked. On the sea, layers of huge waves set off. In the sky, the brewing black clouds were also disturbed. Sure enough. Brother Carl is quite capable, why do you want to be a pirate? Kazaru looked serious. Hey, because I don't want to be the dog of the world government. Carl's answer was decisive. 
Kazaru didn't say anything after hearing the words, a lightsaber was condensed in his hand, and he fought back and forth with Carl. Huo Shaoshan and the ghost spider in the soil suddenly widened their eyes, and their jaws almost fell to the ground. They thought Carl was strong, but they didn't expect that Carl could really compete with Kazaru Admiral. In other words, there are two Admiral-level combat powers on the Straw Hats. Coupled with Blackfoot and Roranoa, it seems inevitable that the Straw Hat Pirates will grow into a new generation of Emperors in the future. Hey! Teacher Carl, it's time to go. Luffy has arrived on the boat and greets Carl immediately. Carl immediately pulled away and flew back, but Kazaru stuck to him, which was annoying. Kazaru Admiral, it's only a few million a month, what are you doing? Carl couldn't help complaining. These words directly hit Kazaru's heart. Kazaru wanted to cry, he wanted to agree with Carl's words. Admiral only has a monthly salary, but he has to face such vicious pirates. Moreover, Marshal Sengoku never pays overtime pay, and every time there is a situation, he is asked to go out, and he can't do it if he wants to catch fish for a while. But, there is no way. Who asked him to do this job? Sengoku appointed him here, if he is not active, he will be scolded when he goes back. After discovering Carl's strength, Kazaru knew that the straw hats could not be caught, so in order to avoid being scolded badly, Kazaru could only do it actively. Afterwards, Huo Shaoshan and Ghost Spider helped to explain, so Marshal Sengoku should not blame him too much. At this moment, the black clouds in the sky were brewing more and more fiercely. A gust of hurricane blows from nowhere and nearly blows houses in Logue Town up. The waves also became bigger, and the warships surrounding the port even swayed because of this, and the sailors were unable to stand firmly. Crash. The rain poured down. Marine's gunpowder expired in an instant, and the attack on the Mary also stopped in an instant. Kazaru glanced at the sky, feeling that the storm was unusual, and then suddenly saw a bolt of lightning falling from the clouds, aiming at himself. He was so scared that he quickly dodged. And Carl took the opportunity to leave the battle circle, and flew back to the Mary with the great sword on the door. Ah. Suddenly there was a scream, and a girl in a plaid shirt was blown into the air by the strong wind, and then fell on the Mary, fainting gorgeously. Zoro's eyelids twitched, not knowing what to say. And that's when Luffy yelled, let's go, little ones. Go to the Grand Line. Usopp had already beaten the rear admiral into the sea, and upon hearing the words, he flew back directly, pulled the sail rope and stretched the sail to the maximum. Zango is in charge of the rudder, following Nami's orders. With the effect of the strong wind, the melee broke through the blockade of the warship in an instant and sailed towards the distance. Momu in the sea also followed quickly. Kazaru didn't chase after him, he looked up at the roof in a certain direction, and a cloaked figure flashed by, and he had a guess about the cloaked figure in an instant. Carl looked at Logue Town which was getting farther and farther away, and smiled at the storm. Hee hee, Drago, you really can make trouble. But if you dare to act casually, aren't you afraid of being discovered by Kazaru? Huh. Dorag. Luffy was taken aback. Mr. Carl, are you saying that my father made this storm? It's amazing. Is my father that powerful? The others were also taken aback. Everyone was very curious to hear about Luffy's father. Carl said. The leader of the Revolutionary Army, Drago, can lead the Revolutionary Army against the world government, and his strength is at least at the Marine Admiral level. And this storm may be related to Drago's fruit ability, but Luffy, you just need to know that your father is very that's right. Well, I see. The stronger daddy is, the safer Sabo will be. Luffy said while pressing the straw hat. After all, the relationship with Sabo is deeper. Carl didn't say much. Luffy met Drago for the first time today, and it was already amazing that he could call his father so smoothly. If Ace met Roger instead, he probably would punch him instead of calling him dad. E.H. Luffy's father is the leader of the Revolutionary Army. The crew was shocked. As long as you have read some newspapers, you will have heard about the Revolutionary Army. It is said that it is an organization dedicated to anti-world government. Its leader, Drago, is recognized as the most vicious criminal by the world government. Such a person turned out to be Luffy's father. Then, everyone was surprised to find that the monkey family seemed to be involved in three parties. Garp is the hero in Marine, his son Drago is the leader of the Revolutionary Army, and his grandson Luffy is the big pirate. 
No matter which side wins in the future, the monkey family will be safe and sound. Conspiracy theories are not so popular on the straw hats. Everyone is relatively simple, so Carl will think more. But those are not important, the important thing is that Luffy tied with Marine Admiral today. Even if he had fought Hawkeye before, or even defeated the Golden Lion, it was not enough to explain anything. Because Hawkeye can keep his hands, Golden Lion is old and frail, and cannot fully prove Luffy's strength. Now I have officially fought with Admiral Kazaru, who is active in Marine, and he has retreated unscathed, which directly gave everyone a reassurance. It can be said that the Straw Hat Pirates are not afraid of anyone now. With the power of the storm, the Mary successfully threw off the Marine fleet and headed towards the Upside Down Mountain. Zango, Nami, and Usopp frantically put bandages on Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji. Although there is no ship doctor on board, they still know some basic trauma dressings. Carl laughed and said, Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, how does it feel to face a strong enemy? Have you forgotten what you just learned? Luffy smiled. I feel very excited, Marine Admiral is really amazing. Sanji smoked silently, with a low voice, first didn't expect Marine Vice Admiral to be so difficult to deal with, I'm still too weak. The corner of Zoro's mouth is curved, things that I only realized when I was dying, how can I forget them so easily, I will remember them all my life, even if I become the strongest. The others couldn't help but smile when they heard this. Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji are strong in their own right, and now they can go one step further, which is really very happy. Everyone is already thinking about how to kill the quartet after arriving at the Grand Line. Then, Carl looked at Zango, Nami and Usopp, then, the next step is to train your weak trio. Be prepared, the devil training is waiting for you. The three of them shivered when they heard the words, their expressions were uglier than crying. Here in Logue Town, the storm has started to die down. The marine fleet is preparing to return to the headquarters, and Smog is forced to help Huo Shaoshan and Ghost Spider, two vice admirals. Smaug was unwilling to reconcile. He was very confident in his own strength, even to the point of conceit. Since he came to Logue Town, none of the pirates can leave Logue Town safely. However, reality slapped him directly. He couldn't survive a move in the hands of Straw Hat Luffy. Even his weapon was taken away, and his motorcycle almost became the spoils of the Straw Hats. Fortunately, the Straw Hat Luffy seems to have forgotten, otherwise the motorcycle would not be kept. Later, I heard that the Straw Hat Luffy even drew with Kazaru Admiral, which hit smaller even more. Seeing that he is only 17 or 18 years old, he can already fight with Marine Admiral, and then looking at himself with such little strength, where does he get the capital of arrogance? Thinking of his usual conceit, Smoker wished he could find a piece of tofu to crash him to death. To Smaug's shock, Tashigi seems to have been kidnapped by the Straw Hats. Ghost Spider Vice Admiral, Huo Shaoshan Vice Admiral, are you saying that the girl in glasses wearing a floral shirt was blown onto the boat of the Straw Hat Boys by the wind and taken away by the Straw Hats? Asked Smoker, clenched his fists. Both Vice Admirals nodded. Yes, we and Kazaru Admiral have seen it, that girl is your subordinate. Alas, my condolences, Smaug, a girl boarded the ship of that vicious pirate, what consequences do you have? You should be able to imagine it. Smaug was even more angry, and directly bit off the two cigars in his mouth. Something happened to Tashigi and it was his fault. He blames himself, so he will definitely save Tashigi even if he is killed by Straw Hat Luffy. Not far from the port, Kazaru found a clean place to sit down, looked at the miserable scene in Logue Town Port, and couldn't help sighing for a moment. Marine seems to lose a lot of money. Although it can be completely ignored, it will affect Marine's reputation. After all, Logue Town is an important port of East Blue, and many merchant ships pass by here, some of which are noble merchant ships. Marine decides to deal with the straw hats in Logue Town, so he has to take responsibility. It's just that I didn't expect that this time not only failed to catch the Straw Hat crew, but also destroyed the port of Logue Town so badly, which can be said to be a big loss. Thinking of Marshal Sengoku's anger, Kazaru felt dizzy. He silently took out his phone bug and dialed the number of Sengoku's office, waiting for Sengoku's stormy rage. Moses Moses, Pelusolino, did you catch the Golden Lion? And Straw Hat Luffy, did you catch it too? Sengoku's voice was relaxed. 
Kazaru almost cried when he heard that. Sengoku believed him so much, his tone was so leisurely. Kazaru said with a bitter face, Marshal Sengoku, the Golden Lion was not found, only some crew members of the Golden Lion were captured, and they are about to be brought back to the headquarters for interrogation. In addition, I am in Logue Town with two vice admirals, Huo Shaoshan and Ghost Spider. The Straw Hat Pirates rounded up, but the strength of the Straw Hat Pirates exceeded our predictions, and finally let them run away. Nani. Sengoku's voice was trembling, obviously extremely angry, you have an admiral with two headquarters vice admirals, and you can still let people go. Are you fishing again, Pelusolino? No. Absolutely not this time. Marshal Sengoku, we have seriously miscalculated the combat power of the Straw Hats. They have two admiral level combat powers. The Straw Hat Luffy is tied with me, and there is one named Carl who directly burns the two vice admirals of the mountain and the ghost spider have finished their abuse. It was the first time that Kazaru found it so difficult to explain. Sengoku took a deep breath, clearly not believing what Kazaru said. However, two vice admirals, Huo Shaoshan and Ghost Spider, were also present, so the possibility of Kazaru lying is very small. But because of this, Sengoku finds it incredible. A small pirate group that has not yet entered the Grand Line has two admirals. Can you believe it? Now, the problem is really serious. Porosalino, you and Huo Shaoshan Vice Admiral rushed back to the headquarters immediately, and remember to bring back the Golden Lion's crew. The Ghost Spider Vice Admiral continued to search for the Golden Lion's whereabouts in East Blue. The old rooster did not catch it for a day. I'm always uneasy. After explaining, Sengoku hung up the phone wearily. Garp on the side was still eating biscuits heartlessly, and the sound of cracking cracked made Sengoku very irritated. Garp. It's your grandson again. Sengoku growled, didn't you already know what happened to your grandson's ship? Garp plucked his ear, and said calmly, oh, you said Luffy and Carl, they are really powerful in combat, and if they work together, even this old man will suffer. Then why didn't you say it earlier? You didn't ask me. Seeing Garp's indifferent attitude, Sengoku became even more frantic, grabbed Garp's biscuits directly, poured them all into his ears and mouth, and even threw the bags to the sheep under the table to eat. Garp was not willing to admit defeat, and directly quarreled with Sengoku, which made the sailors standing guard outside the door very helpless. Look, the chicken and dog jumping has started again. At this time, the Mary boarded. Tashigi slowly opened his eyes and found that it was a strange room. Looking at the layout of the room, it should be a girl's room, but Tashigi saw the sea from the round window and thought that he should be on a boat. Taking the saber in the corner, Shigur, into his hand, Tashigi felt relieved. She opened the door to see the straw hat crew having a party on the deck. Beautiful Ms. Tashigi, you are awake. Please join us for a meal. Sanji swipes directly to Tashigi, a gentleman's invitation. Oh, thanks, that's weird. Tashigi reacted. Are you straw hat crew? You brought me here. Zoro, who was drinking, rolled his eyes. Hey, hey. Don't talk nonsense, you were the one who was blown onto the Mary by the wind. Roranoa. Zoro. I understand, it's clear that you coveted my good sword, Shiu, so you took me captive, didn't you? I said, do you have persecution paranoia? Zoro is very helpless, he really has nothing to do with Tashigi. He looks so much like Kuina and speaks like Kuina, but his personality is far worse. And the combat power is not good, not as powerful as Kuina at all. He doesn't like this imposter very much. Carl watched the interaction between the two, couldn't help laughing, Zoro, it seems that you and Tashigi are very familiar, is there a story? It was fine if Carl didn't speak, but Tashigi locked him in as soon as he spoke. Pirate Carl, you liar, how dare you deceive me like this? Tashigi was obviously very angry. Carl, you fool, what did you do to Tashigi Ji-chan? Sanji stood directly on Tashigi's side and helped Tashigi question Carl. This immoral behavior made everyone very speechless. Carl said, how did I deceive you? Tashigi complained, you were obviously a pirate, but you pretended to be friendly and approached me, and even said that you were not cheating on me. I obviously believe you so much. Carl didn't know what to say. This innocent girl really has never experienced beatings from society. A stranger you just met 
who is still a man, scares you with a few gentle words, how innocent you are. And the pirates themselves are bad guys, Carl is good, but if you were any other pirate, you might be sold as a slave. In this regard, Carl is not going to explain anything. He turned to Luffy who was eating meat and said, Luffy, Tashigi is marine, what are you going to do? Luffy said indifferently, in this case, let her be released on a safe island in the Grand Line. Although she is a marine, she is still a girl, so it is not good to put her in danger. Carl nodded. Since the captain said that, then Nami, Tashigi will stay in the same room with you first, and wait until the Grand Line. Nami didn't object at all. There were a group of old men on the boat, and she was the only girl who didn't even have anyone to say sweet words to. Although Tashigi is a marine, he doesn't seem to be the kind of difficult person to get along with. Considering that his adoptive mother was also a marine, we should be able to have a common topic. Tashigi also breathed a sigh of relief when he heard that. She was actually very scared in her heart. After all, the Straw Hats are a pirate group that can compete with Marine Admiral, and their strength is beyond her ability to deal with. If these pirates have any bad intentions, she can't resist. Fortunately, these people are not too bad, and they should be saved when they reach the Grand Line. Afterwards, because of the presence of the girl Nami and Sanji's constant flattery, Tashigi felt relieved, ate something, and fell asleep after returning to the house. The next morning, Tashigi got up early. However, Nami was not seen, and voices were heard on the deck. When I opened the door, I found that all the straw hat crew had woken up, and they seemed to be doing morning exercises. No wonder the straw hats are so strong. They trained so hard. As a marine, I can't lose to them. Tashigi thought to himself, and silently found a place to practice swinging a knife. Everyone in the straw hats glanced at Tashigi, but said nothing. After that, Tashigi saw for the first time what is called monster training. Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji have to do tens of thousands of push-ups. After finishing, Luffy and Sanji will step on the moonwalk and run for several kilometers in the sky, while Zoro will swing the knife tens of thousands of times. As for other people's tasks, it will be lighter, but it is undoubtedly the amount that only monsters can complete. This is, the daily training of the Straw Hat Pirates. Tashigi's jaw dropped in shock. Carl stopped panting after seeing Tashigi swing the knife hundreds of times, instinctively feeling dissatisfied. He still wants to become stronger with just this little training, and he still clamors to take back the famous sword in the hands of the bad guys, which is simply talking big. With someone like Tashigi, though, prodding her with sarcasm will only make her feel inferior. Therefore, it is better to use incentives. So Carl laughed and said, Tashigi, do you want a famous sword? Tashigi's eyes lit up immediately, will you give me the famous sword in your hand? Carl shook his head silently, naturally, you can't just give you the famous knife. I will give you two choices. The first is to defeat me, and I will give you all my famous swords. The second is to complete the arrangement I arranged before you leave the Mary. For the training mission, I will give you Liang Kue Shui Zhou as a gift. Tashigi suddenly became excited, it is good news for her to have the opportunity to get the famous knife. However, she hesitated for a moment. She definitely couldn't choose the first place. Carl could compete with Kazaru Admiral, and she couldn't be the opponent at all. Therefore, only the second option can be chosen. However, the pirates trained Marine, and it always feels bad to say it. After struggling for a while, Tashigi gritted his teeth and said, I'll choose the second one. Losing face is losing face, compared to getting a famous knife, losing face is nothing at all. Carl nodded in satisfaction. Okay, if this is the case, I'll test your foundation first, and then assign you training tasks. Don't let me down. Saying that, he stood directly in front of Tashigi, and slowly pulled out the snow. Seeing this, Luffy and the others silently looked over. Carl's behavior made them a little puzzled. After all, Tashigi is not a crew member, and he is still a marine. Carl wants to actively train Tashigi. I don't know why. Tashigi took a deep breath, Shigur pulled out, clenched his hands, and looked directly at Carl. You look good, come on. Carl challenged. Tashigi stepped forward, and Shigur slashed forward, but was easily caught by Carl. Tashigi quickly changed his moves, chopping, slashing, slashing, and picking one by one, 
but the power of each move was too small and the speed was very slow, which made Carl very dissatisfied. Boom. Carl knocked Shigur aside with a knife. Tashigi's hands trembled, he was out of breath and couldn't speak. Carl put away the snow and started to comment, the moves are decent, but the strength is insufficient, the speed is too slow, and the legs and waist are weak. Your current strength is only a little better than ordinary sailors. Hearing this, Tashigi couldn't help clenching his fists. She couldn't refute Carl's evaluation, because she knew how strong she was. But she is a woman, and her strength is naturally inferior to that of a man. You are thinking in your heart that you are a woman, and your strength is not as good as that of a man, is it? Carl sneered, don't make excuses for your weakness. Weakness is weakness, and there is no necessary connection between men and women. The four emperor's aunt is a woman, and your marine's prospective admiral Mamasagi is also a woman, and vice admiral is an old lady, so they are strong. It's outrageous. The problem is only on you, you swing the knife hundreds of times a day, and you want to become stronger like this, it makes people laugh. Carl's words made Tashigi's eyes widen, and he was speechless for a while. Zoro was also startled, and his thoughts drifted to a very distant childhood. He thought of Kuina, how he wanted Kuina to listen to Carl's words, but Kuina was no longer there. It is this imposter who has no strong heart to hear this sentence now. What a fire! Zoro suddenly understood Carl's purpose of training Tashigi. This woman complained about why all the famous knives were in the hands of the bad guys, and loudly said that she wanted to take back all the famous knives from the bad guys, but she didn't try her best to become stronger, which made people furious. Carl doesn't want to trample on Tashigi's dream, but hates iron for steel. Zoro has the dream of becoming the world's number one swordsman, so he is desperately trying to become stronger, even in the face of death without fear. But what is this woman doing, wielding a knife hundreds of times a day, and talking about dreams, why don't you die? The more he thought about it, the more upset Zoro became, and continued to swing the knife with a dark face. Everyone could even feel the ghostly aura emanating from Zoro's body, and instinctively dodged a little. Hey, Carl, you fool, don't bully Tashigi-chan, Tashigi-chan is a slender girl, you. Sanji. Luffy suddenly and seriously interrupted Sanji, Mr. Carl is right. Sanji was stunned for a moment, and seemed to understand, silently lit a cigarette and stood aside without speaking. Luffy probably didn't understand Carl's purpose of training Tashigi, but Luffy agreed with Carl's words. Weakness is weakness, don't make excuses for your weakness, it's better to try to become stronger when you have that time. Only when you become stronger, you are worthy of talking about your dreams, otherwise you are just talking big. In Luffy's eyes, pirates are free, so Carl can do whatever he wants, and he won't interfere with anything. Carl's side stared at Tashigi, waiting for Tashigi's reaction. If Tashigi's reaction is disappointing, then I'm sorry, Carl will not care about it in the future, and he himself is just a whim, making a mistake as an instructor. But if that's the case, Carl dares to assert that Tashigi won't go far. At this time, Tashigi only felt stiff all over, and Carl's words kept flashing through his mind, and he couldn't help trembling all over. She was angry, but not with Carl, but with herself for not living up to expectations. In the moment just now, she actually had the idea that she is weak because she is a woman, so she is not herself at all. She is also a person who wants to be strong and become stronger. Tashigi's expression suddenly became serious, he bent down to 90 degrees, and said loudly, I did have that thought just now, I was wrong. But I won't think that way again, I want to become stronger, I take back all the famous swords in the hands of the villains. Teacher Carl, although it is not good for pirates to teach marine, please teach me to become stronger. The sound was so loud that it almost echoed on the sea. Luffy, Zoro, Sanji and the others inadvertently raised the corners of their lips when they heard the words, apparently becoming happier. Carl took a deep look at Tashigi's sagging but still straight back, and the voice in his ear was so sonorous and powerful that he couldn't help but smile immediately. But he soon became stern again. Oh. You want to become stronger. Are you ready to go all out? Tashigi shouts Kaido. It's done. Okay. Then, before you leave the Mary. I will personally train you, so don't be overwhelmed. I can hold on. Hee <laughs> hee, it depends on your performance. If you can hold on, Shizuo will be yours. 
Shizuo will definitely be mine. In this way, Tashigi officially joined Carl's training team. During breakfast, Usopp sneaked up to Carl's side while no one was looking. Mr. Carl, why do you suddenly want to train this female marine? Usopp still didn't seem to understand. Hee hee, there's no reason. As a teacher, seeing such an incompetent guy, I can't help but want to teach him a lesson. And it has nothing to do with status. Don't you think Tashigi is a good candidate? Carl replied casually. Usopp was still a little confused, but since Carl said that, he didn't want to ask too much. Over there, Nami and Tashigi seemed to get along really well. Nami talked about her adoptive mother to Tashigi, perhaps because her adoptive mother is also a daughter marine, so Nami has a little more affection for Tashigi, and now it feels like finding a best friend on a boat. Tashigi was surprised by the identity of Nami's adoptive mother, but when he heard about the dragon pirates, he instantly remembered the report about Colonel Mouse colluding with the dragon pirates to harm the East Blue Village, and he felt guilty in an instant. He bowed and apologized to Nami, which made Nami a little embarrassed. Those who do that kind of thing are marine scum, even if the apology is from the marine executives, it has nothing to do with Tashigi. But Tashigi's sincere apology doubled Nami's favor, and he completely regarded Tashigi as a best friend. If Tashigi is not marine, I want to keep people on the ship as partners. At this moment, Luffy's shout sounded, Hey! Everyone, look! Incredible mountain! Everyone looked forward after hearing the words, and saw a towering and stretching mountain range that seemed to grow directly in the sea, and countless Uzumaki even grew around the foot of the mountain, which looked very dangerous. No wonder Luffy said it was an incredible mountain. That's upside down mountain. Nami instantly recognized it. She called everyone together, then opened the Grand Line map, and quickly settled down. That's right, this is the upside down mountain, we have to climb over this mountain to enter the Grand Line. Over the mountain. Do you use a boat? Luffy and the others are at a loss. Indeed, this situation is difficult to understand. Thinking with common sense, a boat cannot climb a mountain. Carl knew it, but he didn't say much, Nami's sailing skills were to be tested here, and it wouldn't do Nami any good to speak up easily. Even what Tashigi wanted to say was stopped by Carl. Everything, just leave it to Nami. Crossing that mountain is the grand line. Luffy's face was full of longing. The same is true of others. Even Tashigi, who's always been at East Blue, is on the grand line for the first time. It is said that it is the cemetery of pirates, but there are also many mysteries that make many people flock to it. She also wants to see it for herself. At this time, Sanji brought out a wine barrel from the warehouse and suggested, then, before entering the Grand Line, let's have a launching ceremony. As he spoke, he put his foot on the barrel, I will find all blue. Luffy followed suit, I want to be one piece. Zoro, I want to become the world's number one swordsman. Nami. I want to draw a world map. Usopp. I, I want to be a brave warrior of the sea. Zango. I want to be a world-renowned hypnosis master. Lee K. Wow. Then, everyone looked at Carl, which made Carl a little stunned. In an instant, he remembered a lot. Thinking of the 17 years since I was reborn in this world, thinking of my hard work to survive, thinking of my parents who died of illness, and even thinking of my previous life. Friends from previous lives are also talking about their dreams. Some friends said, the world is so big, I want to go for a walk, and then downloaded the Genshin Impact game and swiped the Tibat continent. It turned out that the world he was after was a virtual world. Some friends also said that my senior sister is so old, so I want to go and have a look. For this great dream, Carl basically chose to ignore it. So what is his own dream? Carl was a little confused at first, but soon became clear again. That's right, since you've come to this world, how can you not take a good look, not only for yourself, but also for the parents who died of illness in this world, to see the beauty of this world, to see the dangers of this world, and even to discover the dangers of this world. The truth of the world. Just to not come to this world in vain. So, Carl slowly put his foot on the barrel and said loudly, I want to travel around the world. Tashigi, who was watching the ceremony, seemed to be affected by the atmosphere, silently holding Shigur tightly, and secretly vowed in his heart, I will take back all the famous swords that were possessed by the bad guys. Everyone showed the biggest smile, come on. 
go to the great route. After the launching ceremony is over, it's time to think about how to climb the mountain. But with Nami's ability, this is not a problem. Soon under the command of Nami, the Mary found the entrance to the mountain. It was a narrow waterway, and a row of door frames was deliberately built at the intersection, but the sea water was climbing along the waterway to the top of the mountain independently, which looked very spectacular. Everyone couldn't help exclaiming, each one was very excited. Although Tashigi had heard of it in Logue Town, it was the first time he saw such a scene, and his eyes widened for a while. Carl silently took out the camera and chose several angles to take pictures. After these photos are developed, they will be made into a photo album and put together with the sailing diary, which is a kind of memory. Although I have seen such a scene in anime, it is another matter to experience it personally. The only feeling at this time is, shock. Everyone, don't be in a daze, we are going to climb the mountain from here, and then enter the Grand Line. Nami quickly directed everyone to control the boat and head towards the entrance. However, the Uzumaki on the sea surface was too strong, and the entrance was too narrow, so it was very difficult for the Mary to move forward. Fortunately, Nami was superior, and the Mary quickly entered the entrance. However, the position of the Mary was a bit off, and it was about to hit the huge door frame, so Luffy quickly turned into a rubber balloon and bounced the Mary back to the correct track. Call. 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 The Mary rushed towards the top of the mountain as fast as a rocket. Everyone couldn't help but get excited. Ha 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 ha. So fast. Luffy opened his mouth wide, and swallowed a big breath as expected. We're almost at the top of the mountain. Crash. The Mary went straight up to the summit and then started heading downhill. The roller coaster feeling was exhilarating, but also a little scary. No wonder it takes courage to go to the Grand Line. First of all, you have to pass the first level. If you are not careful, the ship may really be destroyed. At this moment, a deep roar came, making everyone stunned. Luffy pressed the straw hat, the roar was full of sadness under the color of his experience, and he couldn't help being silent. Look, everyone, there is a black mountain ahead. Usopp shouted suddenly. Everyone looked forward, and then their eyes widened. There was indeed a towering mountain in front of them, which was almost as high as the clouds. But soon everyone also discovered that this turned out to be a whale, and the roar just now was made by the whale. It's about to collide. Turn the Mary back. No. The rudder can't move. Ah. The rudder is broken. Nami, Usopp, Zango, and Tashigi were in a hurry, but Luffy stood motionless on the sheep's head. Carl, Sanji, and Zoro also stood motionless on the deck. Luffy looked up and said, your voice is full of sadness. Although I don't know what you are sad about, can you please get out of the way? The whales don't seem to hear, or understand, though. Luffy had no choice but narrowed his eyes, and the conqueror's hockey came out, which made the whale tremble all over in fright, and its huge body quickly moved sideways, allowing the Mary to pass successfully. Seeing this, Nami and the others breathed a sigh of relief. Since there is a way, let's talk about it. Nami bared his fangs and growled. But Luffy just showed his white teeth and didn't explain anything. He just looked back at the whale, as if he wanted to see the whale's heart clearly. It didn't take long for the Mary to reach the foot of the mountain. There is a lighthouse at the foot of the mountain here, and there seems to be a small house next to the lighthouse, which should be the tower keeper. But now it seems that the tower keeper is not there. For some unknown reason, Luffy chose to stop the ship here. Then, Luffy stood at the bow and looked at the whale in the distance, and saw the whale slowly swimming over. It seems that Luffy is specially waiting for this whale. The crew couldn't figure it out, but Carl probably figured it out. Luffy likes to be nosy, but just heard the sadness in the whale's voice, and wanted to understand, so he chose to stay here. At this moment, an iron cover suddenly lifted from the back of the whale, and an old man wearing a flower ornament came out. Flower. Everyone stared blankly at the old man. Because the old man's outfit really looks like he has flowers on his head, which looks very interesting. Zoro asked curiously, Uncle, who are you? How did you come out of the whale's belly? But the old man stared, and said after a long time, before asking others, it's polite to declare yourself first, isn't it? Ah, uh, that's right, my name is Roranoa. My name is Crocus, the caretaker of the Twin Gorges Lighthouse, 71 years old, Gemini, type AB. 
Zoro was interrupted to introduce himself, and Jonan couldn't help the veins on his face, he raised his hand and was about to draw a knife, can I chop him off? Unexpectedly, the old man Crocus stared again, and said after another long time, don't do it, you will die. Sanji asked curiously, oh, who do you think will die? It's the old man, so it's you. Everyone was powerless to complain, and suddenly such a strange old man appeared, so that everyone didn't know how to deal with it. Luffy laughed loudly, ha ha ha, Uncle Wa is really interesting. Crocus took a deep look at Luffy, then jumped off the back of the whale, found a place to sit in front of the small house next to the lighthouse, and said seemingly unintentionally, just now I felt the breath of a strong man, it's you guy. Luffy pressed the straw hat and introduced himself, my name is Monkey, D. Luffy, Uncle Wa, please give me your advice. Crocus often reads the newspaper, so he naturally recognized Luffy, I know you, straw hat boy. The newcomer is really amazing, and he's already famous all over the world before entering the Grand Line. Luffy giggled and said nothing. At this moment, a huge whale suddenly crashed into the upside down mountain, causing the sea and the ground to tremble. Over and over again, it looks absolutely insane. Crocus hurriedly shouted, Laboon, don't you hurt yourself anymore. As he spoke, he used his body to block the whale, but was knocked away by the whale. Perhaps out of fear of hurting Crocus, the whale finally came to a stop, but it roared to the sky, and its voice was full of sadness. Crocus finally breathed a sigh of relief as he watched the whale stop. Luffy couldn't help asking, Uncle, what's the matter with this whale? Why does it have wounds all over its head? And, why does it sound so sad? The straw hats were also very curious about this, and even Tashigi pricked up his ears. Carl found a bottle of wine from the kitchen, found a place to sit, and drank by himself. He knew the story of the whale, but that didn't stop him and his friends from listening to it again, but wine was needed to listen to the story. It's a pity that there are no peanuts or melon seeds, what a pity. Crocus began to tell the story of the whale. The whale is called Laboon, who came to Twin Gorges with a pirate group 50 years ago, and Crocus also met Laboon at that time. Because of the danger of the Grand Line, the pirates left Laboon here, and agreed to come back to meet Laboon after traveling around the world for a week, but they never returned. Later Crocus even went out to sea to look for them, but there was no news. After 50 years, those pirates were dead, so he told Laboon the same. But Laboon didn't believe it, and started to head but Red Line, wanting to go to the mainland to find those pirates. When the story comes to this point, everyone is moved and complicated. Waiting for a partner for 50 years, but waiting for such a result, seeing Laboon's head full of scars, everyone couldn't help feeling distressed. Tashigi's eyes were filled with tears, it was probably the first time she knew about pirates and such touching stories. At this moment, Luffy suddenly hit Laboon in the face with a rubber pistol, knocking Laboon to the ground. This sudden behavior surprised everyone, wondering why Luffy was going crazy. Boy, what are you doing? Crocus couldn't help but anxiously said. Luffy didn't speak, and waited for Laboon to react while pressing the straw hat. Laboon seemed to be irritated, and his huge head hit him, but Luffy didn't dodge, and let himself be knocked into the air by Laboon. After that, Luffy and Laboon hurt each other directly, which is confusing. But everyone in the straw hats saw that Luffy didn't use his full strength. Just when Laboon was about to attack again, Luffy suddenly said, this time it's a tie. Laboon's huge body choked. This time it's a tie. I'm strong, you want to fight me again. I know your partner may not come back, but I will always be your opponent. After I travel around for a week, I will definitely come and fight with you again. Luffy's words made everyone couldn't help but smile. Crocus even wiped the corners of his eyes, you kid. Laboon even burst into tears, screamed to the sky, and cried like a child. After that, Luffy, the sole painter, drew a crooked straw hat skull pattern on Laboon's head, just to prevent Laboon from hitting Red Line with his head again. Crocus felt relieved when one of his worries settled down. Carl, on the other hand, stared at Laboon for a long time, frowning and thinking about it, he realized that he seemed to have forgotten something. Tashigi asked curiously, Mr. Carl, what are you thinking? Carl said hesitantly, I feel like we've forgotten something, it's obviously very important, but now I can't remember it for some reason. 
Since I can't remember it, maybe it's not that important. Sanji interjected, and then said, Okay, I'll cook right away, let's have a good meal before leaving. But our captain is too hungry, and the food that was originally prepared from Logue Town is almost bottomed out now. Let Momu hurry up to hunt. Dot huh. Sanji was stunned, and the others seemed to think of something, and they all froze there. Carl suddenly realized, Mumu. We forgot Mumu. Now it's embarrassing. He obviously values his companions so much, but he forgot Momu, the manatee, a hunting tool, and didn't remember it until eating. It must be because I was too excited when I climbed the mountain just now, and Momu was in the sea, otherwise how could I forget? At this moment, a manatee swam tiredly down the waterway. It seemed that Momo couldn't catch up with the boat because the boat was too fast, but he still managed to swim over by himself. Fortunately, Momo is not as big as Laboon, otherwise it is estimated that he will not be able to make it through. Moo. Moo Moo. Moo Moo looked aggrieved. Moo Moo, I'm sorry. We were wrong. Everyone hurriedly bowed and apologized to Moo Moo. Crocus couldn't help laughing when he saw this scene, he probably hasn't been this happy for a long time. Tashigi was also laughing and wiping away tears, feeling from the bottom of his heart that Straw Hat Crew is really a good group of guys. Sanji made a big meal, and everyone started to eat happily. Crocus was invited to eat together, but he was not polite. He praised Sanji's good cooking skills after a bite, which made Sanji very proud. Carl looked at Crocus while eating, thinking of the old man's identity, he immediately made up his mind. Uncle. You were in Laboon's body just now, were you treating Laboon? Carl asked casually. Well, Laboon has been hitting the red line for many years, and his body is already pineapple and pineapple. If it is not treated, Laboon will die soon. Moreover, Laboon must be injected with a sedative to calm it down as soon as possible. Crocus explained. So, uncle, you are a doctor? Luffy asked. Well, I am indeed a doctor, and I even worked as a ship doctor for pirates. Really? Then, uncle will be our ship's doctor. He he he, I'm old, I can't accompany you young people to toss, and I have to stay with Laboon, so I'm sorry, I can't accept your invitation. That's it, forget it. Luffy didn't seem to regret it at all, and turned to eat meat. But Carl said, then, uncle has medical books in his hand. As the ship doctor of One Piece, uncle must have excellent medical skills. Do you mind selling me the medical books? E.H. E.H. Everyone was shocked. Uncle Crocus used to be the ship doctor of One Piece. This has to be shocking, okay, who would have thought that the first person they met when they first entered the Grand Line was the former crew member of One Piece, this is really good luck. Crocus was very surprised, and laughed, ha ha ha, I didn't expect anyone to know the identity of the old man. Yes, the old man boarded Roger's ship in order to find the pirate group, and worked as a ship doctor for Roger's pirate group for a while. As for the medical books, I do have a few here, for the sake of helping Laboon, I will give them to you. Then thank you, uncle. Carl immediately agreed. Although Crocus's medical skills are not the best in the world, it is absolutely extraordinary to be able to hold Roger who is terminally ill for a year or two. Therefore, medical books are definitely needed, just give them to Chopper in the future. Luffy and the others were very excited, and began to ask Roger about some adventure stories of the pirates, and of course asked whether Crocus had boarded Raftal. However, about where Raftal is and what is on Raftal, no one mentions a word, even Usopp. This surprised Crocus. However, Crocus is well informed and can generally understand the mentality of the Straw Hats. This is a group of young people who go to sea to pursue their dreams. The goal may be Raftal, but it is not just Raftal. Some people are eager to find that big secret treasure, but some people are more obsessed with taking risks, and are more obsessed with finding and discovering it by themselves. These two kinds of people are completely different. Crocus shared some adventure stories, which made Luffy's eyes light up. Tashigi was also listening, with surprise on her face and she forgot to hide it. She probably didn't expect that there was a crew member of One Piece who was so close to Logue Town, but no one knew about it. She really didn't know what to say. By the time Crocus finished his adventure story, the meal was almost over. The medical books were also delivered to Carl. Carl quickly put away the medical book, but he struggled for a while, and finally chose to speak out. 
Uncle, the pirate group you are looking for is the Rumba Pirates, right? Oh, little guy, you know. I've heard about the Rumba Pirates. It is said that they were infected with the plague and all died. However, there was an Afro named Brooke who had died for a year and then came back to life after eating the fruit of the underworld. Now it is a with a skeleton. Brooke is still alive. Where did you get the news? Crocus was very excited. He didn't expect that after so many years, there would be news of the Rumba Pirates again. Although it is normal to say that all of them are wiped out, there is still one Brook who is still alive. Afro Brook, as soon as you hear it, you know it is definitely the Brook of the Rumba Pirates. Straw Hat Crew is used to it, because Carl seems to know a lot of things, no matter what news Carl says, they may be surprised, but they will not suspect that the news is false. But hearing Carl say that now, I still couldn't help being surprised. Carl said, you don't care where I got the news, but the news is accurate. Now Brooke is trapped in the Dow, his shadow was cut off by seven warlords of the Sea Moria, and he can't see the sun until he regains his shadow, so haven't been able to get out. Seven warlords of the sea. Cut out the shadow. Carl once taught the Straw Hats the ability of Shichibukai, so everyone in the Straw Hats is not surprised. Crocus was very excited, and he basically believed Carl's words. So he yelled to Laboon. Have you heard, Laboon? Brooke is still alive, he just won't come back temporarily, one day he will regain his shadow, and then come back to see you. Laboon's eyes burst into tears, and there was joy in his loud and long whistle. Carl smiled, that way he wouldn't owe Crocus anything. A useful piece of news was exchanged for a precious medical book, and everyone benefited from each other, and it happened that each owed nothing. But Crocus is very grateful to Carl, but makes Carl very embarrassed. After eating and drinking, it was time to leave. Carl gave Nami a record pointer, and kept the other for himself in case of emergency. Nami had actually bought the pointer, but it would be nice to have a backup. She tried the compass and found that it really didn't work, so she put the pointer on her wrist and looked at the direction the pointer was pointing. Uncle Crocus, do you really just need to follow the direction indicated by the pointer? Nami asked uncertainly. Hee hee, so you have already prepared pointers. Crocus laughed, that's right, you can only trust the pointers on the Grand Line, and a lot of sailing experience in the four seas may not be useful here, little girl, you should be careful better. Nami nodded, taking the words to heart. The preparations are complete, the rudder has been repaired, and it is time to set off. Okay, little ones, let's sail. Luffy raised his hands and shouted, with an excited smile on his face. He finally came to the Grand Line, and the grand adventure of the Grand Line began from then on. I don't know where Shanks is waiting for him now, and what will happen when we meet. Mary sails on the Grand Line for the first time. Everyone looked around excitedly, but it seemed to be the same as before, except for the sea, there was the sea. At this moment, a man and a woman were dragged and thrown onto the deck by Zoro. Luffy, these two guys have been sneaking around the lighthouse before. I overheard a few words with my knowledge, but I didn't expect that they wanted to hunt and kill Laboon. So I arrested them, what do you think? Disposal. Zoro said something that made people angry casually. Kill Laboon. Are these two guys looking for death? It's okay that everyone doesn't know Laboon, but now the captain has an agreement with Laboon, and everyone and Laboon are also friends, how can we allow others to hurt Laboon? Carl carefully looked at the man and woman, and then confirmed their identities. The man wearing a crown and carrying a metal bat is Mr. Nine, and the girl with long water blue hair and a vulgar dress is Miss Wednesday who is also Princess Neferutali of Alabasta who is currently doing latent tasks in the Baroque work agency. Bibi. But I have to say, Princess Bibi's outfit is really ugly. You guys, want to kill Laboon. Luffy pressed the straw hat, and said in a low tone, Laboon and I are friends, and I will never allow others to hurt him. As soon as the words came out, other crew members stepped forward one after another, Surrounded Mr. Nine and Bibi, and even Tashigi unconsciously joined the encircling team. Probably even Tashigi himself didn't realize it. For Tashigi, Laboon is a very human whale, even a whale that makes people feel distressed, so Tashigi does not allow anyone to hurt Laboon. Both Mr. Nine and Bibi were taken aback. They looked up at Luffy tremblingly, and then they were startled again because they recognized Luffy. You, you are the captain of the Straw Hat Pirates, Monkey. D. Luffy, 
who became famous even before entering the Grand Line. Then, this ship is the ship of the Straw Hat Pirates. Mr. Nine and Bibi had to be alarmed. Baroque Works uses Whiskey Peak as one of its strongholds, and targets rookie pirates to earn bounties. Naturally, there are many bounties for pirates, and the bounty list of the Straw Hats is the most shocking. From the highest 100 million berry of the Captain Straw Hat Luffy to the lowest million berry of the Pet Ricky on board, the total is 226 million berry. This kind of bounty is commendable even in the second half of the Grand Line, and it is even more amazing for newcomer pirates. Coupled with the fact that Straw Hat Luffy has twice taken the front page of the newspaper, the deeds are also shocking. Whether it's fighting Hawkeye or defeating a legendary pirate like Golden Lion, it's enough to make people daunting. Therefore, the Baroque Work Agency dare not target the Straw Hats at all. But I didn't expect to meet the Straw Hats in Shuangzi Gorge. It was a disaster. Oh, what, you guys know me? Luffy asked curiously. Luffy, you have been on the front page of the news, and you are still a big pirate with a bounty of 100 million. There is nothing wrong with others knowing you. Usopp complained about Luffy's IQ. Yes. He he he, I forgot. You can forget this kind of thing, I really admire you. The interaction between Luffy and Usopp surprised Mr. Nine and Bibi. Just now, Straw Hat crew looked very vicious, but when the captain and the sniper talked, the painting style changed immediately. It seems that the Straw Hats are not so scary. And as the captain of the Straw Hat Luffy, it seems that his IQ is a little off. In any case, Mr. Nine and Bibi were relieved by the easing of the atmosphere, but they still didn't dare to relax completely, because the pirate hunter who offered a reward of 50 million berry was still staring at them ferociously. So, what's your situation? Why are you hunting Laboon? Zoro asked, putting his hand on the hilt of his knife. This is a proper threat. If one answer is not good, it is estimated that they will draw their swords. Mr. Nine and Bibi were startled and quickly explained, we are bounty hunters from Whiskey Peak, because there is almost no food on the island and we heard that there is a big whale here, so we want to hunt it back. I'm really sorry, we didn't know that whale was a friend of the Straw Hat Pirates, and we won't hunt and kill it in the future. Both of them were about to leave their seats, and the faces of all the members of the Straw Hats looked much better. At this time, Bibi raised her hand weakly, well, can you send us back to Whiskey Peak? When we were captured, the boat was left near the Twin Gorges, and now we can't go back by ourselves. Luffy said indifferently, oh, yes. Mr. Nine and Bibi were overjoyed and thanked Luffy again and again. The captain has already made a decision, and everyone naturally has no objections. Anyway, I just came to the Grand Line, and I go wherever I want. And with the strength of the straw hats, they are really not afraid of anything at present. Nami just sighed too, and asked Bibi for pointers to Whiskey Mountain. While the straw hat pirates were sailing, Kazaru and Huo Shaoshan had returned to Marineford and reported the whole process carefully. Even the cloaked man last seen, Kazaru didn't hide it. After the report, the meeting room was quiet. No, there was also Garp's incoherent snoring, the old guy was dozing off the whole time, his nose turned into a big bubble, and his sleep was very funny. Seeing this, Sengoku and the others could only shake their heads speechlessly. Garp. An old guy, has been in a state of slacking off since Roger's death, and he seldom manages things after his hair turns gray. Even in an important meeting, I can fall asleep carelessly, which makes people very helpless. However, Garp is also making a statement. Straw Hat Luffy is his grandson, and now he is a pirate. As a grandfather, he doesn't want to take care of it, you can do whatever you want. But Sengoku may not know what Garp really thinks. Garp has confidence in the strength of Luffy and Carl. Even if two admirals attack at the same time, Luffy can escape. So, Garp is not worried at all. However, Sengoku will not make Garp so comfortable. He directly yelled. Garp. You old fool. Your family is not reassuring. Garp's snot bubble shattered, but quickly shifted into another position and resumed sleeping, ignoring Sengoku's snarl. Sengoku, don't get excited, Garp can't help it. Crane persuaded from the side, and then felt a little emotional, I didn't expect the strength of the straw hat pirates to be so exaggerated. It is really unexpected. If they are allowed to enter the new world, I am afraid that there will be a five emperors. Ah la la, five emperors. Ms. Suru's evaluation is too high. 
Admiral Aokiji didn't care much. He thinks it's Kazaru's game, and he's lenient because Straw Hat is Garp's grandson. Otherwise, how could a mere 17-year-old boy be so strong? Kazaru heard the meaning of Aokiji's words, but he didn't refute anything. He just felt itchy and wanted to cut his nails, but seeing Sengoku was angry, he could only hold back and hope that the meeting would end soon. HMPH. Pirates should be fooled. Kazaru must be fishing this time, otherwise how could he not be able to defeat mere rookies? Next time I go there in person, I will definitely wipe out the straw hat pirates, and I will kill the straw hat boy with my own hands. Admiral Akainu looked angry, as if the straw hats were his father killing enemies. However, it is said that Akainu is jealous of evil, and he is never soft on pirates. Both Kazaru and Aokiji are catching pirates, while Akainu is killing them on the spot. To pirates, Akainu is like a mad dog, making people shy away subconsciously. Garp, who was sleeping, paused and clenched his fist secretly. Then, changed the position and continued to sleep. Both Aokiji and Kazaru glanced at Akainu, thinking that Garp must not have dragged Akainu to exercise, otherwise Akainu would dare to be so arrogant and say murderous grandson in front of his grandfather. It can be described as a top iron. Sengoku looked at Akainu with some headaches. Sakazuki, you'd better go to New World to garrison, just keep the four emperors in check. The first half of the Grand Line is handed over to Kuzan and Pelusolino, and if it doesn't work, let the old man Garp guy go there himself. The strength of the Straw Hats has exceeded expectations, and the identity of Straw Hat Luffy has also made Sengoku embarrassed. But there is no way. He is the Marine Marshal, it is impossible to give face to the old comrades every time. So, Sengoku said, go ahead and increase the bounty for all members of the Straw Hats. Straw Hat Luffy directly set it to 500 million and Carl 300 million, but we can't mention that they are tied with Marine Admiral, as that will damage Marine's majesty. Charge them directly with some crimes, such as destroying Logue Town, kidnapping female sailors, etc., and define them as vicious criminals. Everyone is not surprised by this arrangement, but they also feel that something is wrong. The captivity of this female sea soldier has no effect on Marine's majesty. Crane Vice Admiral answered, I also need to say hello to the news King Morgans and ask them not to report casually this time. Everyone nodded, admiring he Vice Admiral's work on checking and filling in gaps. Last time, Morgans made a big news without any warning, publicized the deeds of the Straw Hat Pirates, and even did not announce the matter of Captain Mouse in advance, which made Marine very passive. Nothing can make Morgans mess up this time. However, Marine is still a step behind. By the time the Straw Hat's new reward order came out, the news of the battle between the Straw Hats and the Marine Grand Fleet in Logue Town had already become a news headline and had already been issued. Sengoku was so angry that he smashed the table and scolded Morgans for not being a son of man. Then, he got a call from Kong and immediately braced himself for scolding. On the sea, the news bird is running around carrying big news and rewards from the straw hats. Morgans has spent a lot of money this time, not only will it cause shocks in the sea, but he will also make a lot of money with this wave of news. Morgans probably smelled it. He felt that as long as he kept an eye on the straw hats, there would definitely be big news. Only by constantly reporting big news can his title of News King be worthy of the name. It is impossible for those small newspapers to compare with him. Sure enough, the news of the Logue Town battle once again pushed the Straw Hat Pirates to the forefront. Many new pirates were horrified to find that the Straw Hat Pirates were already strong enough to challenge Marine Admiral. Moreover, the bounties of all members of the Straw Hats are exaggerated to the point of speechlessness. At this time, the Straw Hats are heading to Whiskey Mountain. When I entered the Grand Line for the first time, everything was very new, including the weather. At the very beginning, we experienced storms and hail, which could not stop for several hours. If everyone was not strong enough, they would probably have fallen to the ground long ago. Even Mr. Nine and Bibi were arrested, fortunately, there was no danger along the way. Nami is accumulating experience while commanding. As long as she sails on the Grand Line for a few days, her sailing skills will grow rapidly. When the weather got better, everyone was a little tired, even Carl was a little weak. At this time, he saw a news bird high in the sky, and a coin popped out and fell into the news bird's pocket. 
The news bird immediately dropped a newspaper and continued to fly forward. Carl took a look at the newspaper and smiled immediately. Luffy stretched his neck, and approached the newspaper curiously, wow. This is the news about our fight with Marine in Logue Town. I didn't expect it to be reported, ha ha ha. Luffy is also very keen on becoming famous, so naturally he is very happy. Everyone heard the news and came together. The photo on the front page was Luffy and Kazaru fighting, which was secretly taken by Carl. The content of the text is also probably in line with the facts. After all, Carl took the initiative to contribute, and most of the pictures described are mainly the crew of the Straw Hats. Morgan's probably polished it up and added Marine's description, which is considered to give Marine face. Sure enough, although Morgan's is crazy, he has a strong desire to survive. Mr. Nine and Bibi also saw the news not far away, and their jaws dropped in shock. They didn't expect that the captain of the Straw Hats had a fight with Admiral Kazaru in Logue Town, and finally entered the Grand Line unharmed. It's not too bad. At this moment, the two deeply felt that they had boarded an amazing pirate ship. Huh. It seems to be a new reward order. Usopp displayed all the reward orders with great interest again. When everyone saw it, their eyes widened. Straw Hat Captain Monkey. D. Luffy. 5 billion berry. Lightning Great Swordsman Carl, 300 million berry. Pirate Hunter Roranoa. Zoro, 120 million berry. Blackfoot Sanji, 100 million berry. Tengu Sniper King Usopp, 50 million berry. Hypnosis Master Zangao, 30 million berry. Thieves Nami, 20 million berry. Lion King, 2 million berry. Sea Beast Mumu, a million berry. The Straw Hat Pirates' seven members and two favorites are all offering rewards, a total of 1.123 billion berry. This is simply a bounty that shocked the world, and made the whole sea feel how worthless berry is, no wonder. This is to make the whole sea feel the terrifying strength of the Straw Hats. Even Morgans wrote casually, if the Straw Hats enter the new world, there will be five emperors, which directly shocked everyone's attention. However, many people think that Morgans is exaggerating. The Straw Hats probably just entered the Grand Line, how could they be so powerful? Moreover, Marine also issued an announcement, pointing out that the news is exaggerated and does not conform to the facts, and the Straw Hats offer such a high reward because they have committed many evils, and they also listed various evil deeds of the Straw Hats. It's amazing. We just entered the Grand Line, and the bounty has exceeded 1.1 billion. Usopp was very happy and triumphant, haha. <laughs> My uncle has become the Tengu Sniper King, with a bounty of 50 million berry, and he is also a famous big pirate. Zangao also smiled happily. His bounty was 30 million, which he never dreamed of before. Sure enough, following the straw hats is the right thing to do. If there is no accident, as the newspaper said, after the straw hats enter new world, a new emperor will be born. Captain Luffy will become the five emperors, and Zangao is the old subordinate of the five emperors. It is beautiful to think about it. Nami couldn't be happy, and her timidity still couldn't be changed. Sanji was upset as always, because he and Chlorilla Head fought against the ghost spider together, but his bounty was 20 million less than Chlorilla Head, which made him unable to be happy. Green Algae Head, why is it 20 million more than me, I don't accept it. Ha ha ha, Marine really has eyesight, and knows that I am stronger than this perverted cook, but it is a calculation error that I am stronger than 20 million, and I am obviously much stronger. Nani. Chloral ahead, don't be too arrogant. I will hockey. So what, I've already learned how to shave and moonwalk, and when first finish learning marine six styles, I'll torture you to death. I will hockey. Give me one move, demon wind foot. I will hockey. Sanji was directly bullied unnecessarily, and the sentence, I will hockey, made Sanji's teeth itch with hatred. Because Carl often said, fruit changes destiny, hockey makes life, so the straw hat's cognition is that hockey is a representative of the strong, and if not hockey is the weak. So, Sanji can't speak to Zoro at all. But Sanji vowed secretly that he must awaken hockey quickly to suppress the arrogance of Chloral ahead. Luffy glanced at Carl and smiled silly. Carl knew what Luffy meant, which meant, now everyone has a reward, so Carl doesn't need to hide anymore. Just like Carl's previous arrangement, Marine sent an admiral to block the way, and then because Carl hides himself insidiously, Marine's operation failed. 
Now that Carl's strength has been exposed, there is no point in hiding it. Carl smiled too, surprised at Luffy's subtle concern. This young boy is obviously carefree, but sometimes he shows a careful side, which makes people feel warm. Tashigi looked at the reward orders all over the deck, and his expression was complicated for a while. It was the first time she saw the scene where the pirate learned that her bounty had been increased. Instead of the fear and worry she imagined, she was happy and proud. It seems that Marine's reward order is not a reminder to them, but a kind of glory. Thinking about it carefully, Tashigi generally understood. The purpose of issuing the reward itself is to let the strong on the sea take the initiative to harvest the heads of the pirates, and at the same time to warn the residents on the sea. But the strong in the sea are either marines or pirates, or the revolutionary army, how many of them will be bounty hunters? Who will harvest the head of a powerful pirate? I'm afraid not. Four emperors' bounty of billions is so enviable, and they are still safe and sound for so many years. Therefore, setting high rewards for pirates did not help, but instead fueled the arrogance of pirates. Of course, it is probably also to cause disputes among pirates. Pirate disputes have existed since the birth of pirates. They are dissatisfied with each other. Someone has a lower bounty than someone. Let the pirates kill each other, and the marine reaps the benefits. This is indeed a good way, but it can only be aimed at some pirates with low bounties. Pirates with high bounties will not fight because of the bounty, but will fight for treasure and territory. The higher the bounty, the stronger the pirates are, and they are not fools, so they cannot be used as guns by marine. Therefore, offering a bounty is useless at all. Thinking of this, Tashigi sighed deeply, worried about the future of the sea. Mr. Nine and Bibi were numb for a long time, so scared that they didn't dare to speak at all, for fear of annoying the group of big pirates. At the same time, newspapers and bounties flew all over the sea, setting off huge waves once again, shocking everyone. Don't talk about East Blue Windmill Village, Shimotsuki Village, Kokoja Village, Sarab Village, and Barati, or how the newcomer pirates in each sea react, just look at how the strong think. Wang Guo's aunt read the newspaper again, but this time she was not in the mood for dessert, so she told Katakori again that she must remember to invite the straw hat group to Wang Guo to attend the tea party. Katakori saw that his mother valued the straw hat Luffy so much, so he naturally didn't dare to neglect, and quickly arranged for someone to conduct a more in-depth and detailed investigation on the straw hat group, and even the straw hat group's itinerary must be kept in check, and he must be vigilant against other three kings' attitude towards the straw hat solicitation. Kaido of Wanokuni dismisses this and continues drinking. On the other hand, the Moby Dick was very lively. Father, the news that it's Ace's younger brother again. It's getting more and more shocking. Not to mention defeating the Golden Lion before, he's now in a 5 to 5 relationship with Kazaru. Maybe after entering the new world, he will really have a 5 to 5 match. Where is the Emperor? Marco smiled and opened up the bounty offered by the Straw Hats. The other captains couldn't help being surprised when they saw it. Just joined the Grand Line, the bounty is more than 1.1 billion, and he really has the money of the five emperors. Ace's younger brother may become our opponent in the future. Josie joked. I'm a little interested in this Roranoa. He actually has three big sharp knives in his hand. Maybe he can fight in the future. But he is definitely not as good as me. For swordsmen, it's not that people with more swords are more powerful. Vista pointed Zoro's reward order said. Yeah, more swords are not necessarily more powerful, just like Vista's double swords can't beat Hawkeye's sword. Marco, I think you are itchy, are you looking for a fight? Hey, hey, as a swordsman, there is nothing wrong with admitting that you are not as good as the world's number one swordsman, right? Or, Vista, are you sure you can defeat Hawkeye now? I, Vista couldn't say anything to Marco at all, so he could only sit aside and sulk. If he could beat Hawkeye he would have won the title of the world's number one swordsman long ago. Can you still use Marco? Swearing does not reveal shortcomings, Marco is too much. Whitebeard laughed loudly, Kula la la la. My sons, although the level of bounty does not mean anything, but Ace's younger brother does have two brushes. If you don't work hard, you will be surpassed. From today at the beginning, everyone must train hard, whoever dares to be lazy under the nose of the old man, let him taste the power of shock fruit. An unnamed island in the new world. 
The Red Foss stayed on the shore quietly, but there was no one on board. In a cave on the island, all members of the Red Hair Pirates are having a banquet, and the red-haired Shanks drank three bottles of wine boldly, with drunkenness on his ruddy face. Ha ha ha. Come here. Drink and drink. The redhead laughed loudly. Luffy is famous again, this time he even beat Kazaru, he is indeed the one who inherited the straw hat. Usopp also raised his head and chest proudly. My son is also amazing, and now he is the Tengu Sniper King, with a reward of 50 million berry. When I was his age, I was playing in the mud in Xiluobu village. He is indeed my son of Yusop, stronger than Lousy. Lucky Lu on the side not on the big meat, but worried in his mouth, Boss, Luffy is making such a big fuss, aren't you worried that he will be besieged by Marine with all his strength? The redhead froze for a moment, then quickly shook his head again. Pirate, it's normal to be rounded up by Marine. And I believe in Luffy's strength, he will be fine, and then came to meet us with a straw hat and his partners. Looking at Luffy's smiling face on the reward order, the red-haired expression fell into reminiscence. It's been ten years since he handed the straw hat to Luffy, it's been ten years, how time flies. Moreover, twenty-two years have passed since the captain's departure. Ben Beckman tapped on the pipe, pulling back the redhead's thoughts. Captain, put Luffy's side aside, Whitebeard's business is more important. Yeah, I have to come forward. The redhead drank another bowl of wine then send a crew member to deliver a letter to Whitebeard first, I hope Whitebeard can give me face. Back to the Mary. Early in the morning, all members of the Straw Hats had already got up and started their morning exercises. Mr. Nine and Bibi were also woken up, watching Straw Hat crew training curiously, and were very surprised in their hearts. Especially Bibi, as a princess, she has a special understanding of pirates because she is going to be an undercover agent. In her opinion, most pirates are very lazy, and almost none of them take the initiative to train. Even if there are, it is very rare on the pirate ship, and it is estimated that there are even fewer morning exercises like the straw hats. So, is this the secret to the straw hats being so strong? Carl turned into a demon instructor early in the morning, and arranged a series of frightening training tasks. On Tashigi's side, it's also unambiguous. The same basic physical training as Nami, plus 5,000 sword swings. It was very difficult for the frail Tashigi, but Tashigi didn't complain at all and joined the training directly. It's just that if you don't complain, you don't complain, but it's hard to keep up during training. For this reason, I don't know how many times I was scolded by Carl. Tashigi felt aggrieved, but gritted his teeth and persisted. Sanji, who was running on the moonwalk above his head, felt distressed and scolded Carl in his heart that he was not human, and he didn't have any sympathy. At the same time, he is also envious of Carl, because Sanji thinks that when Carl supervises the training of Tashigi and Nami, he can unscrupulously look at the perfect bodies of the two beauties. Carl didn't know the brain circuit of this guy, otherwise he would have pulled out Obsidian and hacked at him. He is a professional instructor, not a pervert gentleman like Sanji. Zoro, who is swinging his knife with all his might, also glanced at Tashigi, seeing that similar but equally stubborn little face, Zoro felt a sense of relief in his heart. It seems that this face should have this kind of unyielding momentum. By the end of the training, Tashigi was completely lying on the ground, as if he had just been fished out of the sea, his whole body was soaked in sweat, and his breathing was very rapid. Carl said, your physical fitness is too poor, and you can't relax in basic training every day. Although the training method is different from Marine, I also refer to the training method of Marine Headquarters to train you. As long as you persist, you can become stronger. Of course, if you want to give up, I won't make things difficult for you. I will never give up. I will definitely become stronger. Tashigi yelled out, completely unaware that Carl was prodding her on purpose. However, Carl did it out of good intentions, not just to tease him. The training relies on his spirit. Not only must he keep his spirit alive, but he must also encourage him to raise his spirit from time to time. Otherwise, he will have no motivation for training. So why do you need to shout during training, because shouting can cheer yourself up and improve your spirit. As for where the training method of the Marine Headquarters came from, of course it came from Garp. Not long after I first met Garp, Garp didn't know much about Carl's strength, and at the same time he had confidence in himself, 
so the two made a bet, and Garp was tricked by Carl. Carl's bet is Marine's training methods. This training method is not a secret, even many pirates can find out, so Garp generously informed Carl. The Carl pit is naturally for reference. After all, if you want to train Luffy, you can't do it without a complete system, and Marine's training system is undoubtedly excellent. With a complete training system for comparison, training is naturally more effective. Okay, let's eat first, and the formal sword training will start after dinner. Carl said cruel words casually. Now Tashigi doesn't even have the strength to move a finger. I didn't expect to have sword training. This is not cruel or anything. But in Carl's eyes, it's very normal. Whether you can move depends not only on your body, but also on your heart. The strong can move without strength, because the strong are forcing themselves to move. If you don't move at critical times, you may die, and your partner may die, so even if you can't move, you must move. Mr. Nine and Bibi, who had been watching the training, went numb again. The training of the straw hats made them unable to explain the shock in their hearts with words, and at the same time they knew the reason why the straw hats were so pervert. If they are so desperate just for morning exercises, if they are not strong, then who should be strong? Sanji dragged his tired body and started to make breakfast. Liji called out to the sea a few times, and Momu emerged from the sea immediately, handing the prey to Liji, and Liji was in charge of moving the prey into the kitchen. The two tool beasts have been properly arranged. I don't know if there will be a place for Chopper to board the ship in the future. Zoro wiped his sweat wearily, and quietly glanced at Tashigi who was still lying on the ground, especially the ups and downs of panting, reminding him of Kuina's expression when she pressed her chest and said she was a girl. Then, his face turned red inadvertently. Carl saw it clearly, and suddenly showed a malicious smile. Seeing Carl's smile, Zoro immediately felt bad, and took the initiative to start another topic. Ahem, Mr. Carl, you train as hard every day, but won't this delay your own training? Everyone else looked over after hearing the words. Indeed, I have never seen a demon instructor training himself. Carl casually pointed to the giant sword on the black door panel behind him. Did you see that this giant sword has been floating behind me, do you know why? Luffy said with a smile, Mr. Carl has been practicing the fruit ability. Only then did everyone suddenly realize. Indeed, from the time I met Carl until now, the giant sword behind Carl has never landed. That is to say, Carl has been distracted to control the fruit ability. No matter where he goes, whether he is sitting, lying or even lying on his stomach, he is using the fruit ability to control the giant sword. On weekdays, I just take it for granted, but in fact Carl is training all the time. Tashigi lying on the ground was greatly shocked, and admiration flashed in his eyes. No wonder he is so strong. It turns out that it is not because of his qualifications, but because he has been working hard. When you thought he was resting, he was exercising the whole time without a break. This is the strong one. Zoro, Usopp, Zango and Nami were all shocked. For the first time, they felt Carl's desire to become stronger. Even though he was already strong enough to fight against Admiral, he was still unsatisfied and continued to become stronger. You really deserve to be Mr. Carl. Carl said again, Zoro, you actually asked me this kind of question. It seems that your knowledge is not good enough. You can feel me and Luffy carefully to see what's wrong. Zoro was taken aback when he heard this, and locked Carl and Luffy with observation hockey. First he frowned suspiciously, then his pupils shrank. You guys, you two have been using armed colors. Correct. Carl smiled and raised the handle of the obsidian knife he had been holding, with armament hockey clearly wrapped around it. Luffy is naturally the same, the armament hockey on his straw hat is basically rarely dropped, as long as it is dropped, it will be punished by Carl. Of course, the consumption of armed colors has a great impact on physical strength. Carl and Luffy dared to do this because before they arrived in New World, they basically didn't need to use armed colors, and with their strength, they were not afraid of encountering any enemies, so they kept armed colors all day without any scruples. And Carl's purpose is also to conceive and raise obsidian, so that obsidian can completely become a black sword. Zoro was deeply impressed. He said in a very serious tone, Mr. Carl, please teach me how to raise a black knife. Carl nodded. I'll just wait for your words. 
Then from now on, you will probably be even more tired, and you may be too tired to keep your eyes open in severe cases. I'm not afraid of death, how can I be afraid of being tired? Okay. Sure enough, he is a man. Then let's start. Then, Carl taught Zoro how to wrap the armament hockey on the knife stably, and how to save more effort. At the same time, he also calculated the use time, recovery time, and daily growth of his armed color, so as to achieve the best understanding of armament hockey. Hockey's precise control. Of course, these experiences are Carl's experience. As for Zoro himself, he has to figure out a suitable mode for himself. Tashigi listened attentively. Although she didn't quite understand and didn't know what it was like to awaken hockey, she still tried her best to write it down, but she thought it would be useful to her in the future. When it returns to Marine, it is estimated that no one will teach it that way. Zoro learned quickly, and has already started to try to wrap hockey with a word for Kazuto. However, he has three knives, and if he wants to turn all three knives into black knives, it is estimated that there is still a long way to go. However, Zoro has a strong character and a very high level of understanding. I believe he will do it soon. At this time Sanji called everyone to eat. Zoro had a grim and tired face, struggling even to eat. In fact, his armament hockey level is too low to withstand long-term consumption, which makes Zoro very uncomfortable and powerless. Everyone looked at Zoro occasionally while eating. Seeing Zoro's uncomfortable appearance, thinking that he might be like this in the future, he couldn't help shivering for a while. Zoro, a tough guy, has become like this, so when it's their turn, wouldn't they be miserable to death? Carl shrugged, he didn't care what everyone thought, anyway, after training to a certain level, everyone had to awaken hockey. Otherwise, it may be difficult to save your life when you enter new world. At this moment, Carl thought of something again and smiled at Zoro. Zoro, you were looking at Tashigi just now, your face turned red. Puff. Zoro couldn't hold back and spray directly. And the armed color also fell directly, and the whole person spread out on the seat, making Luffy and Carl laugh out loud. That's right, that's the sense of powerlessness that they experienced too, and it's so gratifying to finally see someone else suffering. Carl you. Zoro replied stiffly. Green algae head. You just peeked at where Tashigi-chan is, tell me the truth. Sanji broke out directly. Well, he worked so hard to cook in the kitchen, and it turned out that this Chlorilla got such a good fortune, it's not fair at all. The entire dining table was noisy, and the trio of Luffy, Usopp, and Zangao even took the opportunity to snatch the food. This kind of noisy breakfast also made Nami and Tashigi powerless. However, Tashigi glanced at Zoro. She didn't expect that this three swordsman would sneak a peek at her, could it be Shigur who coveted her? Well, this is definitely possible. Tashigi subconsciously clenched the handle of the knife, and gave Zoro a hard look. Zoro thought that Tashigi had guessed it, and his face turned red immediately, matching his tired and ferocious face, he looked like an old man who was dying of illness. After breakfast, Carl focused on taking care of the weak trio and Tashigi. The weak trio of Nami, Usopp, and Zangao first focused on learning the first style of Marine Six Styles. The three chose to shave because it was the best way to run. Carl let Lee K supervise, and he fought Tashigi with a wooden knife. Fighting is the best way to become stronger, and Carl will calculate the pressure on Tashigi, so that Tashigi will resist desperately but will not be easily defeated. In this way, not only can you exercise your swordsmanship, but you can also exercise your mind. The unity of mind and mind is very important for swordsmen to fight. Of course, Tashigi lacks everything, so it's only right to practice to the death. When it was lunchtime, Tashigi lay down on the deck again, still unable to move a single finger, but this time she was in good spirits, as if she had found a feeling. Free time after lunch. At this time, Mr. Nine and Bibi said that the Whiskey Mountain was just ahead. As soon as he finished speaking, he jumped into the sea, apologized to everyone, and hurriedly swam forward. Such an approach is confusing. It is obvious that you can go to the shore with the boat, but you have to swim there by yourself, you are really two weirdos. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.